Of course, no one can see this news program, so it doesn't really matter what we say. <laughs> I'm the Lord Jesus Christ. I think I'll go get drunk and beat up some midgets. How about you, Diane? Well, Tom, I just plain don't like black people. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, we're still on in Boston? <laughs> no, it's, no, what it is, guys? It's Boy Blast with HD. Glad you guys sent me some Family Guy clips in the DMs of the Discord. Let's do this. The fuck? <laughs> loser! What did he say? <whistles> Hello? I said you're a loser! Who is this? A Peter Griffin Christmas. Featuring such standards as... <laughs> Everybody look at the snow in the yard. And who could forget? I brought these gifts for you. They're up in my bum. You know, she bought me something yesterday, but uh, I'm not going to tell you what it is. I want you to guess. So just cl close your eyes. Oh! Oh! It's a soccer horn. I know what it is! Hey, Peter. I've just been uh, checking out some of that internet porn. You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm just going to... Go, go and check my mail over there. You been lifting weights? Uh, no. No, I don't, I don't think it, no. I, uh, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Peter, I, I gotta, I gotta get back. Okay, okay, here's another riddle. A woman has two children. Now, a homicidal maniac tells her she can only keep one. Which one does she let him kill? That's... that's not a riddle, that's... that's just terrible. Wrong! The ugly one! Oh! What's the charge, officer? Driving without my phone number. Ah! 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 Well, maybe I should arrest you for being too beautiful. Ah! Okay. <laughs> I got it. That's the guy from Big. Tom Hanks. That's it. Oh, funny guy, Tom Hanks. Everything he says is a stitch. I have AIDS. <laughs> You've got 20. Hit me. Peter, don't. Hit me. 21. Hit me. Peter. Hit me. That's 30. Hit me. So, we need five consonants and a vowel. Uh, okay. Um, Z, four... Q, another Q, uh, a third Q, and the Batman symbol. Okay, no help there. Um, 15 seconds. If you want to take a shot at it, talk it out. Is it Alex Karras in Webster? I don't believe it. <laughs> All right, I'm going to work. Somebody's got to put food on this table. Oh, no. If there's four tickets and one of them's gone, that, 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 that leaves... This many. You know, I was just thinking, when I was your age, my Uncle Roy shared a beer with me. I drank it, and I was so excited I fell asleep. I must have tossed and turned something fierce, because when I woke up, my pants were off. Never saw much of Uncle Roy after that. Turns out we weren't even related. They say all peoples <laughs> must go through some hard times. Well, we Jews are getting ours out of the way early. From here on out, it's going to be nothing but smooth sailing. Uh, this is advanced physics, right? Ah! I have a right to defend myself as a woman. No yep. means no! Yep. Ah, what the hell is wrong with you? I'm sorry. I just came from that orientation seminar about college dating. Hi, I'm Kelly McGillis, and I'm here to talk to you about rape. Ladies, look to your left. Now look to your right. Statistics indicate that both of those men will rape you. I'm not going to rape you. I might. So, Peter, where do you see yourself in five years? Don't say doing your wife. Don't say doing your wife. Don't say doing your wife. Doing your... son? I got some crystal meth. I figured we could do it together as father and son. I don't know about that. Tell you what, I'll get us started. Ah, <sighs> that feels... That feels better. You sure that stuff is okay? All I know is the guys who made it are dead. Why is there no hole in this wall? You know, this thing is bugging me. 
All right, I'm going to take a hike. Self. Oh, oh, God, there is no fucking drummer better than Neil Peart. It ain't easy being cheesy. I remember this one time I tried to sneak into an R-rated movie. Brian Stewie's birthday is gonna suck. The only stuff I could get on such short notice was a cake and that big-ass pinata. I sure hope candy comes out of that. Es con mucho dolor que digamos adiós a Javier. Y Pepe, y Carlos, y Lupe, y otra Lupe, Salvador, Fabián, Jesús, María, Vincente, y los perros de Vincente. Super racist. Oh, well, it's when have we ever had trouble communicating? Oh, Peter, I love you. Yeah, about a quarter past five. Ooh, let me have some of that cool whip. What'd you say? You can't have a pie without Cool Whip. Cool Whip? Cool Whip, yeah. You mean Cool Whip? Yeah, Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Cool Whip. You're saying it weird. Why are you putting so much emphasis on the H? What are you talking about? I'm just saying it. Cool Whip. You put Cool Whip on pie. Pie tastes better with Cool Whip. Say Whip. Whip. Now say Cool Whip. Cool Whip. So, Doctor, is Peter healthy? My goodness, you'll be dead within a month. What? what? Oh, Hagar the Horrible, if you keep up that lifestyle of pillaging and giant turkey legs, you'll be dead within a month. Now, on to you. So, what do you think? Uh, pretty healthy, eh? Well, Mr. Griffin, let's take a look at your physical results. Ah! <gasps> There's a spider in here. Now, here we go. Mr. Griffin, you're going to expire in a month. <laughs> this is your driver's license, isn't it? And now, here's Ollie Williams with the Blackie Weather Forecast. Ollie? It's gonna rain! Why won't you let me get laser surgery? Because I just don't think it's safe. Okay, I just need to make a quick incision here, and we should be all done, Mrs. Wilson. Luke, use the force. Really? Because I was just going to make it... Use the force. Okay. Are you happy? I've never been happy. Tricking her should be easier than escaping from Canadian Alcatraz. Can I go through here? Just be back by bedtime. Okay. Damn that motherfucker run fast. You see that shit? That thing come by my house, I kill it. That little rat looking thing just got ate. Damn, nature, you scary. Of course, no one can see this news program, so it doesn't really matter what we say. <laughs> I'm the Lord Jesus Christ. I think I'll go get drunk and beat up some midgets. How about you, Diane? Well, Tom, I just plain don't like black people. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, we're still on in Boston? <laughs> Lewis! <laughs> Lewis! <laughs> Mom! 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 Mommy! 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 Mama! 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 Ma! 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 Mom! 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 Mommy! Mommy! Mama! 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 What? Hi. <laughs> I'm not quite sure how to say this. Kim Bassinger? Ba Basinger? Ba Basinger? Basinger? Oh. But now, on to the cancer. Ah! Oh, my God. You are a cancer, right? You were born in July? Ah, where's the damn pull string? Ah. Ah! <laughs> you never know what you're gonna find down here. Ah! We're gonna be here for a while. Well, I don't know if... Wait, what? We're gonna be here for a while. A while? Yeah, a while. You mean a while? A while. A while. A while. A while. A while. A while. Brian, you're acting weird. Oh, come on, that one doesn't even have an H in it. Solve the puzzle. Go tuck yourself in. You got it. Well, you were close, Dad. Man, I still can't believe we missed the phrase "my hairy aunt." <laughs> oh yeah, and uh, that nice chicken outside gave me this coupon. I'm sorry, this is expired. You son of a! Looks like the killer gutted the victim, strangled him with his own intestines, and then dumped the body in the river. Jinkies! What a mystery. <laughs> You're right, Scoob. We're dealing with one sick son of a bitch. Now, on to these test results. My, they're much worse than I thought. Uh. My son got a D minus on his history test. Now, Mr. Griffin, that liver's gotta come out. What? It's been in the microwave for three minutes. It'll get dry. Now. Please. Please. We can't take any more shtick. Please just tell us is Peter healthy? Oh, yeah, he's fine. He's just really fat. Gemini. Oh. Capricorn. Oh. <laughs> I know you're not a Virgo. 
<laughs> hey, from down here, you look like a Pisces. Ah! Chris, you're hogging up all the fans. Yeah, well, you're hogging up all the ugly. Hey, birthday dude, you want some ice cream? Yes, but no sprinkles. But every sprinkle I find, I shall kill you. And there was that time you got caught peeping in the ladies' locker room? Okay, move the towel. Move the towel. Oh, 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 they spotted me. Look, all I'm saying is put an Israeli guy next to an Arab guy, and I can't tell a difference. I like the sauce. Hey, barkeep, whose leg do you have to hump to get a dry martini around here? Hey, if I'm fat, then Stewie's fat, too, because we wear the same size onesie. My mother used to use whiskey whenever I had a toothache. My tooth hurts. What's your name? Uh, my, my name? Uh, 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 P, uh, 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 T, uh, uh, Griffin. Yeah, yeah, Peter Griffin. Oh, crap. Oh, here are the marsupials. Peter, what the hell are you doing? Look at me, Lois, I'm Rue. <laughs> Come on, Ma, let's go watch Pooh trick the bees out of their honey by pretending he's a rain cloud. Good morning, Mrs. Griffin. Hello, 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 hello. <laughs> Just kidding. And his great-grandpa was Thomas Griffin, a great philosopher. Thomas, would you please go look for a job? Why? All right, uh, I couldn't find your toys, so uh, why don't you just play with this blow dryer and these rattles? Yeah, guess that's it. Well, you probably want me to get out of your hair, so uh, here's the Drano in case there's a clog. Uh, soap's right there next to the radio, and towels are on the roof. So, uh, good night. Oh. Hey, muscly arm. Why the long face? Oh, it's this girl. I can't talk to her. It's like girls are a different species or something. Oh, uh, who needs them? You like popsicles? Well, sure. And you need to come on down to the cellar. Mm. I got a whole freezer full of popsicles. Mmm. No, thanks. I gotta get going. Oh, don't make me beg now. <laughs> You're funny. Bye. Get your fat ass back here. I know all about the FC. Sickly an honor roll student. Watch. Hey. He did it. Gotcha. See? You're back from Manila. You had lumpia for dinner. Then you made love to two Filipino women. And a man. You mean three Filipino women? No! And Joe, I've had new neighbors before, but none of them were half the man you are. And since you're half a man already, that splits them into some kind of fraction I can't even measure. Chris, the way to eat an Oreo is to twist it, pull it apart, and lick it. Now you. What we need is a picture for the front page. Well, hold on a second. I gotta rinse my retainer. I'm looking for something tasteful, like the Malaysia spread in last month's Vanity Fair. That was so sweet. It was wicked awesome. A vasectomy is a medical procedure. One that makes you half a man. You're half a man. Remember when you twisted up your garden hose? Well, essentially, that is the plan. That is the plan. <laughs> got your nose. Oh, yeah? Well, I got your face. <laughs> Calm down, Chris. It's only a trick. I can't come to work today. I was in a terrible plane crash. My entire family was killed, and I am a vegetable. I'll see you tomorrow. Huh? Oh, I dropped my watch. Peter, would you be a sport and fetch it for me? Sure thing, Mr. Pewter Schmidt. <laughs> Peter, we've got to put that out. <laughs> You'll never have to wear a condom <laughs> when you do it with your wife. Or anyone else you do it with, we promise not to tell. Well, well what can me and you do together? <laughs> Lois, you've got a sick mind! Peter, I'm talking about making love. Oh, oh, I thought you wanted us to murder the children and harvest their organs for beer money. Can anybody tell me what the square root of the hypotenuse is when... Chris, is that a note? No. Yes, it is. Would you like to read it for the rest of the class? No. Just read it, Lardo. I think Mrs. Griffin's hot. Go to your room. Look at that side boob. Check out this side boob. 
How about that side boob? That turn you on? Well, it shouldn't, because that's my side boob. And you couldn't help but notice that the female lawyer running the seminar had a huge rack. Like, ridiculously huge for someone who has to talk about that kind of stuff. Well, I guess that's the definition of the word irony. Goodbye. Say goodbye to manhood. Goodbye. Say goodbye to babies. Goodbye. Say goodbye to kids like Meg. Vacuum out your sack. Holy crap! Do you see what I see? I'm afraid I do. We're being chased by ghosts! Yeah, my family. You know, guys, I don't say this often enough, but uh, I'm gonna die. That'll be like taking candy from a baby. Well, despite your point of view, I can thrill a girl or two. But I'd rather get it on with you. My God, I can walk. It's a miracle. Sorry, Dad. Just get the chair. That whore! She's betrayed me worse than Lady Macbeth betrayed Duncan! <laughs> I, uh... I don't know Shakespeare very well. And have a wonderful time. Oh, my God. Brian, there's a message in my alphabet. It says, ooh. Peter, those are Cheerios. Well, it looks like the operation was a success. Do you know what the best part of this is? Try licking yourself. You bastard. Oh, Lois, you are so full of <coughs> What? No, I can't say <coughs> in my own <coughs> house? <coughs> Great, Lois. Just <coughs> Great. You know, you're lucky you're good at <coughs> my or I'd never put up with you. You know what I'm talking about. When you <coughs> lubed up <coughs> toothpaste in my <coughs> for you and a cherry, <coughs> Episcopalian, <coughs> Extension cord, <laughs> wetness <laughs> with a parking ticket. That is the best. Did you hear that, Lois? We're going to Hollywood! Where the people are sexy and clever and they always say something funny right before the commercial break. Everybody, I got bad news. We've been canceled. Oh, no. Peter, how could they do that? Well, unfortunately, Lois, there's just no more room on the schedule. We've just got to accept the fact that Fox has to make room for terrific shows like Dark Angel, Titus, Undeclared, action, that 80s show. Oh, this is my favorite event. Catch the greased up deaf guy. Go! You're never gonna catch me. You're wasting your time. Forget about it. Go do something else. See you next year. Who's gonna feed me and protect me from the evil monkey in my closet? Now, Chris, you know there's no such thing. No! <laughs> American Embassy, Cedric the Entertainer, The Tick, Louie, and Greg the Bunny. Is there no hope? Well, I suppose if all those shows go down the tubes, we might have a shot. Peter, why is there a diaper in the lamp socket? Oh, Lewis, he's done it again! Wait a minute. be sad, Peter. That's why they call it Spoople. <laughs> Look at all those hamburgers. You can't eat all those hamburgers, you stupid fella. Oh, jeez! Uh, he's gonna do it. Oh, he's so ridiculous. You hear me, you ridiculous man? You're a... Whoa! Hey, Stewie, peek a -boo. Yes, I see you, fat man. <gasps> Where's Daddy? What? Where did you go? Oh, this is impossible. Well, I, I can hear you, but I can't see... Well, he must really be gone. peek a -boo. Ah! How the hell did you do that? 
Look, I thought you disappeared, otherwise I wouldn't have picked mine. Oh, great, leave when I'm right in the middle of a sentence. Peter, what the hell is wrong with you? I fall asleep for ten minutes and you plow the car into a tree? Oh, my God, you gotta pay attention to the road. We could have been killed. I mean, look at the front of our car. It's totaled. It's completely totaled, Peter. Oh, this is just terrific. How are we gonna get... Oh, my God. I knew I should have driven. I should always drive. I cannot trust you, Peter Griffin. If I remember correctly, this is the physics department. That explains all the gravity. You taped over our wedding video? Relax, Lois. I just taped over the boring stuff. The couple has written their own vows, which they will now recite to each other. Peter, I... Look, the only reason I got myself arrested was to find out what happened to my sister. Excuse me, ladies. It's laundry time. It's so cold in here. I mean, look at my... I swear, sometimes I feel like I'm married to a child. What can I say about my beautiful bride except milk, milk, lemonade around the corner fudge is made? <laughs> you better watch who you're calling a child, Lois. Because if I'm a child, then you know what that makes you? A pedophile. And I'll be damned if I'm going to stand here and be lectured by a pervert. This wedding is hot. Wake up, dammit. Wake up. You know what Joe said the street value of that cocaine would have been? Uh, let's see, four and a half kilos, uncut Nicaraguan, uh, 1.7 mil, that area? Uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's right. All right, I'm ready, come on, good game, good game, everybody, yeah, come on, good game, let's get out there, let's do it, yeah, yeah, 110%, everybody. I must say, I do feel a strange satisfaction watching the black ball topple all those self-righteous white pins. Can't blame them for being self-righteous. The black ball's in their neighborhood uninvited. The black ball's done nothing wrong. If the black ball's innocent, it has nothing to fear. Hey, Doc, you have to keep those two boxes right next to each other. Hi, what do they say? I think we're through here. Yeah! <laughs> Griffin, I said no showboating. This calls for a victory tune. Now, a woman who kiss on a very first date is usually a hussy. And a woman who kiss on a second time out is anything but fussy. But a woman who wait till a third time around, head in the clouds, feet on the ground. She's the girl he's glad he's found. She's his shaboopy. On your marks, get set, white guys, go. I have high hopes for this. I had a cliff bar before we started. Everybody else. <gasps> Phew, I thought they were coming after us. And you can always be proud of your father and all of his accomplishments. What accomplishments? Go to your room. Yeah, but I hope for your sake the cake's better than the last party I went to. Ah! Oh, God! Coconut! A griffin never knows when to stop. Clear. Clear. Uh, oh, you... you saved my life, Doctor. Clear. <laughs> All right, I made a touchdown. Oh, now there are plenty of people who have had worse days. Oh, a parking ticket. I was gone five minutes. Oh, how could this day get any worse? Oh, my God. Uh, excuse me, it's been brought to my attention that a few bad apples out there are smoking marijuana. Uh, I've got news for you, my friend. Marijuana's illegal, not cool. All right, then. Establishment, establishment. You always know what's best. You suck! Learn the rules! I need some excitement. What are you talking about? Your life is plenty exciting. For example... There you go. Good night. What if I helped you get a girl? Really? You... You, you think you could do that? Sure, all we gotta do is get you a little fixed up. You know, get your hair cut, give you good clean... Ah! Shave, maybe some cologne, the chicks will be all over you. Go on, buds, drink my suds, till you've reached that pure inebriation, though the beer may be free, you're just renting it. From me. You think the language in the Second Amendment is clear enough? You know, about the right to bear arms? Of course it's clear. Every American has the right to hang a pair of bear arms on their wall. How could that possibly be misconstrued? Welcome to the Silly Nannies. I'm the quarterback, Leslie. This is our team. 
If you marry me, I'll wait for you and break for you. If you marry me, I'll scrub for you and bake for you. If you marry me, all of this I'll forsake for you. All this will I do if you marry me. AKA Simps. All this will I do if you marry me. Sir, I need another dollar twenty-five. Is that right? Keep the change. Roadhouse. I say, Jenkins, you give me that dirty look one more time and I have a good mind to get into my PJs and have a pillow fight with you. Very well, then. On guard. I like your gown. I like yours. In a moment, we will use the special lights to see just how filthy this seemingly clean hotel room really is. <laughs> Look, my first bike. Boy, I had so much fun playing with that. More tea, Mr. Bike? It's like I died and went to heaven. But, but then they realized that it wasn't my time, and so they sent me back to a brewery. As it turns out, the lump on your chest was just a fatty corpuscle. Fatty corpuscle? Wait a minute. How the hell can a dead comedian from the silent movie era be lodged in my left bosom? Mr. Griffin, I'm saying you're fine. I'm fine? What, are you coming on to me now? Peter, he's not coming on to you. He's trying to tell you that you're healthy. Can it be both? <laughs> wow, Brian, have you lost weight? You gotta tell me your secret. Here's a hint. Put down the fork! Face! Me and Lois's old man have never gotten along. Hey, I got an email from Mr. Butterschmidt. <laughs> Sorry, Wonder Woman, I got three kings. Now let's see your pair. <sighs> All right. Wait, hey, Robin, what are you looking at me for? Look at her. I'm going out for a little while. Hey, wait, wait. You can't tell anyone I'm here. For if humanity discovers I'm no longer lurking in the shadows, the consequences will be dire. Go on. That's it. What the hell do you see in him? Wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube man. Wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube man. Wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube man. Hi, I'm Al Harrington, president and CEO of Al Harrington's wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube man emporium and warehouse. Thanks to a shipping error, I am now currently overstocked on wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube men, and I am passing the savings on to you. Lois, I'm scared. Oh, I'll get that. Hey! Oh, 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 God! Oh, Dave, sorry. Oh, oh, God. <laughs> nice day we're having. <laughs> Yes! What? He said nice day, but he covered with rain! So? So he said this when your brain no, it's not really nice day! Oh yeah! <laughs> yeah. Yes, he said the opposite! It's funny! Uh, yeah, I, I get it, uh, nice day! Oh, ho, ho. now you're funny too! Oh! Well, I really admired the mother character's admission of personal torment after her daughter's death. Uh, I disagree. I felt a total lack of ethical integrity in her readiness to abandon her children and start a life of her own. Uh, here's another thing. The book can also be... a hat. You know, that really grinds my gears. Where exactly in the Bible does it say a man can't fire off some knuckle children in the privacy of his own neighbor's living room while his neighbor's at work because I don't have a DVD player? Well, I don't know where it says it, because the Bible is way too long to read. That's what we call a manatee, boys. Or in nautical slang, the sea cow. Where is it? Keep looking. I can't find it anywhere. Keep looking. There's nothing but a fishtail down there. Keep looking. Oh, there we go. That's not it. It's gonna be. Lois, hey, getting some writing done there, buddy? Yeah, setting up in public so everybody can watch me type my big screenplay. Me too. All real writers need to be seen writing. Otherwise, what's the point, right? You should totally write that down. Okay, will you watch? Something about two gay people getting married. I, I just don't think it's right. <laughs> well, these questions are too big to be decided by human beings, which is why God made... Look, man, gay people have the right to be as unhappy as the rest of us. In this film... So, uh, what's your favorite Madonna album? I like her early work. If his answer is anything but, I've never bought one, you've got a gay. Let's take a blood sample, Mr. Braga. If instead of human blood, you find a deadly corrosive acid, you've got a gay. Not this time, Nancy boy. I never slept with a woman with the lights on. I'll go next. Uh, I never had sex with Cleveland's wife. Uh, all right, let's see. Uh, I never did a chick in a Logan Airport bathroom. Mr. Weed, I uh, was wondering if maybe you'd like to come over to my house for dinner Friday night. Huh, that wasn't so hard. Well, what time? Uh, I don't know, 7.38. Mom, I can't find my jacket.
Lois finds out I'm ditching her to play golf, she'll hit me with a frying pan. Which is why I'm gonna drink this frying pan antidote. All right, hit me with this. Didn't work. Hooray! I'm mayor again! Don't we need to have a whole new election? There. Now no one will have heard him say that. We all heard him say it. Anybody else hear anything? My wife did. God, let's see, what else is there? Um, I never gave a reach around to a spider monkey while reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. Oh, God! I, uh, I never picked up an illegal alien at Home Depot to take home and choke me while I touched myself. Oh, come on! Uh, I never did the same thing, but with someone from Joanne Fabrics. Oh, God, this is ridiculous! I just hope his teen years go better than mine. Boy, talk about awkward. Oh, baby. Oh, oh Sandy. Oh, yes. Oh, Sandy. Yeah. Oh. Sandy? Oh, not again. I'm gonna be a virgin forever. Or am I? Sunday's my internet porn night. Oh, yeah. You're my Chinese Lois. Patty Tanninger, the caddy manager. Yeah, it rhymes. Big whoop. Wanna fight about it? You're a phony! Hey, this guy's a great big phony! Squid pro quo. <laughs> Thank you for not being shellfish. <laughs> I just said that for the halibut. <laughs> Fish puns. Wow, you know, from the other side, that's kind of annoying. Watch me leap through this big hoop. Vamp! Vamp! <laughs> This nigga said vamp. Vamp! Could I interest you in a couple of Rob Roy's? What's a Rob Roy? Only the drink of Mr. Peter Lawford. Who's Peter Lawford? What am I hitting on? Lou Costello here? Who's Lou Costello? Here's a fellow attempting to ride a bicycle. But he's having some trouble, isn't he? Would you like to know why? <sighs> why? Because he's a Scot. <laughs> a lot of people make small movements with a fart. They twist their eye or something. Oh, like subtle giveaways, huh? All right, well, uh, you t tell me if you can see when it happens. You just farted. Oh, my God, you saw that? You think I got time to go make before the movie starts? Just be sure you get back in. You got your stub in your pocket? That's hurtful. Steak and eggs and eggs and steak. That's what you should have for breakfast. Delicious. Steak and eggs and eggs and steak. Just making sure you heard. I got it. Oh, you gotta be starving. Here, eat these. Hey, he está dando nossos Doritos. In Portugal, era cardiólogo. You're just a fat old bastard. Well, not to get technical, sir, but you are the bastard. Yeah, 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 yeah. I graded your quizzes from yesterday. Most of you did well. Some of you, I think, can do better. What do you see here, Chris? Two Ds and an F. This is Virgil MasterCard, heir to the MasterCard fortune. Oh, yes, yes, how do you do that? Damn it, you guys are boring the crap out of me. Stupid, mindless chatter is what it is. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna go back to my place and rent a dirty movie. This is ridiculous. That was weird. Oh, well. Hey, let's compare breasts. That was incredible, Kevin. I'm not here to impress you. Am I dead? Did I say you could rest yet? What are you ashamed to make chin nuts? Oh my god, his chin kind of does look like nuts. Ha <laughs> ha! I never noticed that. How could you not notice it? Watch this. I'll, I'll, I'll punch him in the nuts. <clears throat> That's sort of clever. Spidey, can you swing us across with your web? No, I can't swing you across. And it's Spider-Man, not Spidey. I'm pretty sure I've heard people call you Spidey. Yeah, close friends. What's your name? Peter. Hey, Petey, do stuff for me. Oh, I don't like that. Yeah, you don't like it. You're a fat nobody and I'm fucking Spider-Man, so how do you think I feel? What was that? Shut up and put some of that sugar in my bowl. Uh, open your books to page... You know what, look, I'm sorry. Can I just go ahead and show this video of me doing my wife? Something's going on. We haven't gotten mail in a week. 
I. I haven't gotten mail in a week. Nobody writes you. Joe. Ah, oh, shit. I should have said something. He let me say it twice now. It's like we're married. This is Patrick Stewart. How are you liking the program so far? What did he say? He said he wants you to put your finger in his mouth. If you value your job, I'd do it. Ow! He bit me! Mr. Griffin, although I may not fully understand Opie's management style, he has proven himself a more competent employee than you. Who's he? James Woods. Oh, I thought he was a shark. No, he was on a show called Shark. But he's made of wood? No, his last name is Woods, but he's not made of wood. Nobody is. When I found out that your real father was a drunken Irishman, I went to Mexico to terminate my pregnancy. Oh boy. But God had other plans, and you were born right there. <laughs> Take a drink and you'll sink to a state of pure inebriation. You'll be tanked like the whole Irish nation. Muriel, tell me this isn't true. I overcharged him. I forgive you. We know that, um, you, um, killed Lois. Um, hello? Uh, no. We, we, we have a butt. Cool Weekends in the Morning, 97.1 FM. Cool Weekends in the Morning with Weenie and the Butt. WQHT, 97.1. 97.1. 97.1. We, 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 we have a butt. In the Morning, Cool Weekends. FM. Weenie. Weenie. Whoever made this is zesty. I don't care what they say. And the My dad always says, measure twice, cut once. My daddy always said, Cleveland Jr., Quit jumping on the bed. <laughs> we didn't measure. We didn't measure. We went to high school together, Lois. Chemistry class, freshman year, Joycey. Your Joyce Chiva Prava Damrong? Yes, but they'd never let that name on TV, so I changed it to Kenny. Lois, I appreciate the marshmallow and fish casserole, <laughs> but I'm sorry, I, I, I can't eat this. Oh, because it's not kosher. Yeah, let's go with that. I'm just a regular guy. You throw a stick, maybe I bring a... Good Lord, man. Her feeding him that food is practically white on white crime. The back? Maybe I bring back an iPhone that fell off a truck. Hey, everybody. Just so you know, I'm straight. Love bears all things. Believes all things. Hopes all things. <laughs> endures all things. Love never ends. Thank God I'm out of that hospital. It's great to be eating lunch with my family instead of a bunch of chronic masturbators. Those people are disgusting. Is it lonely up there on your pedestal, Patrick? What's going on, man? What's oh, what's going on yourself? <laughs> <laughs> Almost That's... drowned yesterday. Oh, man. It's wet out here. Wow, you saved our lives, Aquaman. Just doing my job. Arthur Curry! Did you see Aquaman? He was just here! Oh, darn. I must have missed him. Hey, Fwad, can I buy you a cup of coffee? Oh, yes! It's funny because it's free! How come men always mm -hmm. feel like they can just uh -huh. use a woman, you know? Yeah. I mean, we have uh -huh. feelings. Uh -huh. We're people. Right. It's like they all have the mm -hmm. same mindset. Uh -huh. It's all about sex, uh -huh. sex, sex. Yeah. And there's so much uh -huh. more to life than that. 20 feet that way, please. Hey, do you guys stop putting so much importance on race? <laughs> I know I didn't. You didn't? No. If I had, do you think I would have slept with your white great-great-great-great-granny? Yeah, I guess not. Yeah, that's right. And I wouldn't have slept with a fine sister, neither. You found Brown. Hello, Cleveland. This is Michelle Obama. It is? Yes. I received all your letters, and I do like your mustache. Oh, I've been doing all your arm exercises. Thank you, but those won't work on your fat arms. If I could... I would put you in a place where you would be removed from the general public. Perhaps locked in a big secure building with other dangerous people for a predetermined period of time based on the nature and degree of your offense. Unfortunately, as far as I know, no such place exists. So, I have no choice but to set you free. Does that mean I get my kids back? Absolutely not. Case closed. Ah, oh, crap. 
Oh, it was prison you were thinking of. Prison. Oh, I already banged a hammer. So, do you like Sex in the City? Yeah, it's an all right show. I wasn't talking about the show. Oh, I'm nasty. Someone send me out to sea. In other news, after several grueling days of frightening uncertainty, I finally get my period. Hey, Horace, put the patch game on the TV and give me a few beers, huh? Sorry, Peter. Someone stole the remotes. And the kegs. And I'm not sure, but I think I've been shot. Yep. So Grandma Hebrew Berg is actually Jewish? Yes. When she moved to America, her family changed their name. It was originally Hebrew Berg Money Grabber. You bought the statue of David? No, no, no. I just rented it. And they're gonna be ticked, though. The penis broke off while I was loading it into the car. I shall call you Eduardo. I hope I'm allowed to do this. My mommy says don't run with scissors. <laughs> She's so cute. I love children. Look at my kids. I love you, Dad. Peter, come closer. There's something I need to say to you. I'm here, Dad. What is it? Peter, you're a fat, stinking drunk. Oh, no. I dropped my pencil. Oh, I'll get it for you. Yeah. This is gonna work out just fine. Uh, Excuse me. I am ready for sex. I drank eight gallons of water today. This baby's ready to explode. Is... is there more underneath, or is that it? Yeah, look, the giant chicken's Boba Fett. All right, I'll see you at dinner. Think fast. Wow, deodorant! Are you sure I'm old enough? Oh, I think so. I'm gonna make you a little less gross every day. So you actually put coke in that kid's locker? Yep. Wow, where'd you get it? Oh, I got a guy. Don't let it get the best of you. I used to be a lawyer. Well, uh, the match lasted about up, up until the particular inaccuracy, p particular unusually, that, that should be the ultimate determinant factor in about the 12-round experience, the heart of a champion margarine hat. Well, we'll be watching for that. We'll be checking in with you throughout the night, Floyd, and happy 23rd birthday. You're welcome. Oh, yeah, that's my son out there. I taught him how to wipe. Why won't you teach me how to wipe, Dad? Because you don't have a bottom, son. Uh, well, hold on a second. I gotta rinse my retainer. I'm looking for something tasteful, like the Malaysia spread in last month's Vanity Fair. That was so sweet. It was wicked awesome. How the devil do you know about Lewis? You've seen that little gleam in the fat man's eye? That twinkle? That's me, plotting my escape. You hate Lewis? I hate Lewis, too. What, what else do you hate? People who send pictures of their families as Christmas cards. Oh, oh, people who use the word guesstimate. Guys who wear sandals with socks. Jason, Jason Patrick. Patrick. Ooh. Hey, Grease Lightning. Do I know you? Jim Kaplan, sports agent. You like this car? Yeah. It's yours. You like my pants? Uh, sure. They're yours. You know what a Merkin is? No. Nope. Pubic wig. I got one. You want it? No. Of course you don't. You're a classy guy. You want to be rich? Yes. Sign here. Semen. <laughs> Demon. Ha ha. Oh, sorry. Wrong house. Look, Eddie's at the wrong house. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. Wow, Bill Clinton. Hey, uh, can I get a picture of you on my cell phone? Sure. You know where I got that nipple ring? Old straddling Madeline Albright gave it to me. We got enough kids of our own, plus old Brian over there. Right, buddy? I sharpened a pencil in my bum and now I need a band aid. All right, Hitler. Oh, oh, he's going to do it! If you're going to be in the Los Angeles area and would like tickets to Hitler, call 213. Oh my god, are you using my shirts as toilet paper? Yeah, and I think I might need some right now. <laughs> get out now or stay and get weird. Your call, warden. Oh boy, Sundays! I love you, Jesus! Oh, I love you too, fella. Hey, Jesus, can you do something for me? Sure, Peter. What is it? The whole house is slanting down to that cliff over there. Uh-huh. Can you open the sliding door? I'll take it. Oh, God, an angry mob! I've got to swallow all my valuables and get out of here! Ah, oh, damn. I left my cell phone up at that Monkey Kid barbecue. I thought you said it was a father-son barbecue. Yeah, but it was up in Monkey Kid. D d what? Is she hot or not? I, I guess. Okay, good, great. So clear out of your apartment. We're going to be there in 15. What? I'm sleeping. Why can't you bring it to your place? <laughs> I don't know, man. It's my aunt's daughter. It's weird. 
Hey, how come you're always here by yourself? Are you like a bitch or something? No, I have friends. Oh. Well, you should bring some of them in here. Any of them have braces? Yeah. I love braces. My mom has them. Due to a gut-busting divorce, limited people skills, and significant prodding from my therapist, I am currently seeking online companionship as a short but handsome, slightly hairy, newly single salesman. And I would love to attempt to convert my heavily embellished internet profile and carefully airbrushed, out-of-date photo into a night of physical intimacy with you! We now go live to Ollie Williams with the Black U Weather Report. How are you beating the heat, Ollie? Swim it hole! Thanks, Ollie. me <laughs> 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 Father was a tree. Calm down, you're ruining this ball. You know how much I love balls. All right, come on now, that's not helping. Son, you have my word, I am not gay. You promise? I promise. All right, I believe you. But I am a woman trapped in a man's body. And while I'm in Quahog, I plan to have a sex change operation. Oh, come on, just be gay. Oh, for definite. It's just like a childhood game of hide and find. You said it, friend. What do you say for celebration we go dunk our whistles in the trough? Oh, we should totally phone Gaspard. Oh, he would love to hear this tale. Oh, but I only have 15 Fenix on my phone card. Happy Gerbits Day. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Hello, Luke. Uh, have we met? My name's Brian. I was born here. I'm sorry, son. Lots of dogs been born here. Refresh my memory. Which one were you again? I was the one who could talk. Brian! D this trash? Trash? What? No, that's a functioning lamp! No, he, he's okay. I, I take home. What the hell is happening right now? What if I helped you get a girl? Really? You, you, you think you could do that? Sure, all we gotta do is get you a little fixed up. You know, get your hair cut, give you good clean... Ah! Shave, maybe some cologne, the chicks will be all over you. Diane, I'm standing outside the Park Barrington Hotel because they don't allow Asians inside. Fancy place. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, y'all. That's the first time I ever throwed anything. She's because he's usually the one catching instead. She's a solid B student, and that's quite an accomplishment, considering none of her teachers are willing to sleep with her. Sophomore year, she was molested by the janitor. Does that help? <laughs> Mr. Griffin, I believe they're called custodians. I don't want Pam dating a white boy. What? Jerome, you're a racist. Black people can't be racist. We can be way sexist, but we ain't racist. <laughs> Over 200 reports of ear sex have been confirmed so far, prompting a new slogan. Once you go black... You go deaf. So basically, you can eat from any tree you want except this one. Can we sit underneath it? You know, I would just not go near it at all. You like popsicles? Well, sure. And you need to come on down to the cellar. I got a whole freezer full of popsicles. Mmm. No, thanks. I gotta get going. Oh, don't make me beg now. <laughs> You're funny. Bye. Get your fat ass back here. I have 125. Do I hear 130? 130,000 for this authentic Comanche headdress. I got 130. I got 130. Do I hear 135? 140. Do I hear 140? B. 135 going once. Holly, welcome to Fjord's Bakery. Would you like a hot piece of pee? It's on the hoose. What? Oh, no. You're covered in my hot pee. You can wash yourself off in the waiter closet. To Griffin, I'm saying you're fine. I'm fine? What are you, coming on to me now? Peter, he's not coming on to you. He's trying to tell you that you're healthy. Can it be both? <laughs> My back is hurting from the chair I'm sitting on. Where's the Tylenol? If I lay down flat on the floor, it usually kind of fixes it. Tony Danza from Who's the Boss says, a o a o o a o a o There's nothing wrong with me. I'm no different than any other guy. Joe, would you put on your hand shoes and take out the garbage? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I'm married to a big, scary police officer. Just keep your eyes on the eggs, ma'am. <laughs> yes, officer. Oh, you are such a dirty cop. Don't break those yokes, ma'am. Oh. oh, my God, Lois, I hit you. I know. Now stick your finger in there and twist it. Come on. Let's go out dancing. I don't know. I'm feeling kind of cozy tonight, kind of mellow. I just really want to go dance. Oh, there it is again. What is that? So this is where babies come from? Yes, Chris. This is where babies come from. 
You told me I came out of your vagina. Oh, by the way, I should tell you I've got AIDS. What? Yeah, they're right over there waiting for me. Ready to go when you are, sir. Poor guys, they both have AIDS. Welcome. We open today's bidding with this pair of panties confiscated from a prostitute. Fifty bucks. She had nine STDs. Forty-five bucks. And when we caught her, she wet herself. Fifty bucks. Ooh, let me have some of that Cool Whip. What'd you say? You can't have a pie without Cool Whip. Cool Whip? Cool Whip, yeah. You mean Cool Whip? Yeah, Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Cool Whip. You're saying it weird. Why are you putting so much emphasis on the H? What are you talking about? I'm just saying it. Cool Whip. You put Cool Whip on pie. Pie tastes better with Cool Whip. Say Whip. Whip. Now say Cool Whip. Cool Whip. What's your name? Uh, my, my name? Uh, 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 P, uh, 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 uh. Yeah. Uh, uh, Griffin. Yeah, yeah, Peter Griffin. Ah, oh, crap. Excuse me, ma'am. No porn at the bar. Oh, it's okay. I'm transgender. Oh, I, I had no idea. Do whatever you want all the time. Your husband ah! is in a coma. Oh, my God. And to deliver the news to your teenage children, I've hired an EDM DJ. Your father's in a coma, 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 coma. He's going to die. What? This is awesome. What? Yeah, I saw this guy playing in an H&M, and I got his number. What? That green leafy thing? That's a Casey. That thing flying through the sky? Yeah? Casey. You can't name everything Casey. All right, fine, Eve. What's the word for that thing flying through the sky? I don't know. A bird. Oh, bird? Bird is the word? Bird? Bird. Bird? Bird. Bird is the word. Peter, cut it out. If we want to get arrested, the best way to do it is to get caught on the Ring app stealing people's packages. What are you doing? No! Creepy fat guy rubbing garden gnome on our side, Gina. I forgot to steal the package. We now return to Jesse Eisenberg and Emma Stone in Opposite Eye Sizes. Sorry, guys. All I have left are one pair of extra large contact lenses and one pair of extra small. Uh, we'll, we'll be, be fine. fine. This calls for champagne. Pop. Glug, glug, glug. Bottoms up. Go with it. Ugh, Corbell. It's not Corbell, it's... Go with it. Yes, I had some leftover from Denise's wedding. Who's Denise? Go with it. Fine. How is Denise? Did she have the abortion? Abortion? Go with it. Uh, no, her alarm didn't go off, so she missed it. So, Brian, is this your first orgy? Not going with it. If we're not going to Koha Jail, where are we going? The only place where there's room for the weekend. The state penitentiary. You guys thinking what I'm thinking? Wacky mugshot montage! Hey, uh, are my friends coming? No, they're all calling lawyers. You used your one call on this party photo booth guy. Eh, we'll see who has more fun this weekend. Maybe I'll get my hair cut short, too. What? No, no, no way. I forbid it. What? You can't forbid that. Yes, I can. That's the one thing men are allowed to control about women. That and your uterus and how much money you make and also everything else. You have prison pen pals? Yes, a lot of people write prisoners. Even Hollywood celebrity Cal Penn. Cal Penn writes a prisoner? Yeah, Ken. Lives in California. You've never heard of Cal Penn's pen pal Ken in the Cal Pen? How could I possibly have heard of Cal Penn's pen pal Ken in the Cal Pen? Through this song! Well, I do get again every now and then to pick up a pen like my pal Cal Pen and a note I will send every now and again to my pal Big Ben who is locked in the pen because he beat up some men and he got five to ten and he'll do it again. Da 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 da. Cal Pen. It, boys, walk off home run. Get out there and tear his clothes off. He just won for us. Get him. <laughs> yeah, punch him. Good, curb him. Okay, now pull his shirt over his head and waterboard him with a Gatorade. Yes, cut him with knives. Good, burn him with fire. Yes. Way to go, you. All this is happening because you did something well. Are my toes tapping? I feel like my toes are tapping. Now, there's a seagull pecking at your foot. Whenever I wear my Tevas, my toes are up for grabs. I said I was loco. Loco. See, si. Muy loco. Well, I can be loco. I have a teardrop tattoo on my cheek. 
Where? I don't see it. N not that cheek. Peter, that's an unwiped watermelon seed. Loco? No. Yes! I love you, baby. Sorry, Lois, I needed you out of the way so I could kiss this lady. You and Carter are meant for each other. You go together. But like the couple from the movie Grease. Mr. Rama Lama Lama Kadinga Da Dinga Dong, do you take Miss Shubop Shawada Wada Yippity Boom De Boom to be your wife? I do. And Miss Shubop Shawada Wada Yippity Boom De Boom, do you take Mr. Rama Lama Lama Kadinga Da Dinga Dong to be your husband? I do. If anyone objects to this union, speak now or forever hold your peace. <gasps> Mr. Chang Chang Changity Chang Shabop! Hello? Mom, where are you guys? Who is this? It's Meg. Where is everyone? Well, this can't be Meg. She's with us here at the pier. Who is that? Someone who says she's Meg. Give me that. Okay, Meg, if this is you, what's your birthday? March 23rd. I have no idea if that's correct. Good day, Shay. Sorry about that, everyone. Now let's get back to the fair and enjoy our March 23rd. Before the night is over, one of you will betray me. This is some bull crap. I'm the only one who's the color we're supposed to be in this thing. A local Yankee fan's dream comes true when he's diagnosed with Lou Gehrig's disease. But first... Hey, the TV went out. Huh. huh. Oh my god, the Wi-Fi is out. Hey, do you know where I could find any books about, um, the Pancreas? Meg Griffin was an honest man, a kind man. Ma a man who knew how... Oh, my stars. I have nothing. I kind of feel bad. There's nobody here. I know. We're not even here. This was the right decision. God, I wish it was Joe in that box. I do too, Bon. Oh, did I say that out loud? No, but at this point, I know what you're thinking. It'll be soon, babe. No. No. Do it too! No. Oh, he's gonna hate me for changing this one. Hello? Stewie? Ryan, is my mouth in my butt? <laughs> yeah, my mouth's in my butt. You've gotta fix this! I'm trying! Ryan, where's my butt? No. 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 Ryan, you did it! No. Oh, sh Sorry, and that's the story of the Great Flood. Now God only brings natural disasters to places that have too much butt stuff going on. God, if you stop this rain, I promise I'll never do butt stuff. God, if you stop this rain, I'll never do butt stuff again. Let it pour. Who's your little friend? Not now, prison Lois. So it's over? And what was Venice? Same thing it always was, babe. A dream we both wanted to believe. <laughs> Peter, who was that? Not now, front sex, Lois. I love you, Meg. Oh, my God. No one's ever told me that before. This is the best night of my life. <laughs> Chris is still in there. Somebody save Chris! You know what? He's earned that. What the hell? I want a chainsaw! What? What are you talking about? Some lady up the block has given away all of her husband's stuff because he shot himself in the face. Oh my god! I've seen that lady. He did the right thing. Oh, she's so cute. Can I keep her? Eh, I don't know. Can she set up a cutaway? Can I help you? And just like that, the Griffins have a cat. Let me introduce you to the other Dons. Don Duck. Don Key Kong. Don Amnesia. Forget about it. Don Amatapia. Bang. The land Don Under. You come to me today on the day my daughter's barbecue. 
Don Imus. The Rutgers basketball team is black and disgusting. That's a wrap for Don Imus. Finally, the scariest Don of them all. Don, de Don, Don. Thank you. I'd like to introduce you all to my suspenseful son. Don, Don, Don. The female power to belittle is such that the recipient can physically shrink in stature. That's why husbands and wives are the same height in old age. Do it. For starters, you're a failure. Gah! You didn't go to college, daddy pays our mortgage, and you're a terrible husband and father. Ouch! Your whole life is a pattern of hateable noises. Oh. The way you chew a banana makes it sound like it's filled with bones. Ouch! What are you working on, Stewie? I plan to be rid of Lois once and for all. It's a Terminator robot, living tissue over metal endoskeleton. But don't get too worked up. The technology is still years off, even for me. I've got a lot of kinks to work out. What's this other drawing? Oh, that's just a lame hand turkey I drew. I was created by Nathan M. Because there's two other Nathans in the class! Hi. So, I told you about 10 minutes ago, something's wrong with 14. Yep, somebody's working on it, sir. Dad, what's going on? This sucks! I want to go home! Please, my wife's out of town. I... I don't know what else to do. You have to help me. You have to help me right now. Should just be another couple minutes. Dad, Tyson spilled fruit punch on me. No, I didn't. Dad! <sighs> I loathe the little wheeze at the crest of every breath you take. Yikes. I hate the one story you tell at every cocktail party about almost meeting John Kerry. That's a good story. You didn't even meet him. Almost. Your eyeglass lenses have been smudged for 19 years. Ah, crap. Everyone hates it when you see fireworks and you announce this is a finale. Please stop. Pink Floyd is multiple guys. He is? That was the first time I noticed you didn't have an ear. What? Never mind. Suspected heart attack. He's not breathing. No pulse. I can save him, but we gotta move fast. Give me 20 cc's of music factory. Clear. Everybody dance now. Again, clear. Everybody dance now. Clear. Everybody dance now. <laughs> you did it. Great work. Don't thank me. Thanks, silly 90s songs. What do we got? Head injury. He got knocked down. We'll get him up again. I need two milligrams of chumba and one of wumba. You're so predictable. I know every word that's going to come out of your mouth before you even say it. Bold Bold dash. Heavens, Heavens, stop, stop that. that. I, I worked for Pure Later Courier before, before they, they went, went bankrupt. bankrupt. Appearance. <laughs> Intelligence. <laughs> Penis size. <laughs> and another thing. Well, Lois, you are a master. Okay, Peter, think. You're a cartoon character. You can conjure up anything in the world to get yourself out of this. So long, Lois and lady I accidentally called sir. The lines are speed. I didn't draw any food or supplies. I drew that. That was beautiful. If you think the birth is beautiful, you should see the conception. This is O.J. Simpson's Heisman Trophy. Are you crazy? You shouldn't claim to have that. Relax, it's fine. What are the chances he tries to steal it back twice? Hey, did he sign your head? No, he signed my head. Oh, God.
God, how does it look wet and dry at the same time? You look like if Shelly Duvall ate Shelly Duvall. Peter, you have to get a haircut. Okay, come on, guys. It's just hair. I'm still the same old Peter. Nothing's gonna change. Oh, I'm late. The hair doesn't know yet that he doesn't need a briefcase for work. Mort, do you take Rachel to be your wife in sickness and in sickness? I do. And Rachel, do you take Mort to be your husband in bad times and bad? I do too. Hey, look, a pair of working legs. Dibs on these. What? Oh, come on, Quagmire. Joe, I said dibs. No, no, you're right. You said dibs. This is America, Lois. Men have always run things, and there have never been any problems whatsoever. And don't say the economy or Iraq or income inequality or racism or Brett Kavanaugh or air pollution or Vietnam or slavery or Watergate or capitalism or Me Too or homelessness or police brutality or homophobia or Monica Lewinsky or school shootings or Native American genocide or Fox News or Tim Allen or climate change. Uh, you make a good point. Why is this story all about mom this week? What, are we giving Seth's voice a rest? And we don't know how to end these shows anymore, so we just do nonsense. Hey, kids. Coming up next, it's the Jolly Farm Review Marathon. No, no, don't switch it. I want to watch Jolly Farm. Oh, son of a bitch. I got to spend the rest of the day watching stupid kid shows. I'd rather watch paint dry. Uh. Nice. This is the greatest show in the history of television. Mother Maggie, you are a kindred spirit. This must be how twins who were separated at birth feel when they first meet. Trade house keys, bang each other's wives? Yep. Come on, it's good to have some alone time. You know, I spent a year alone on a desert island with nothing but a monkey to keep me company. You're saved, sir. We're gonna get you back to civilization. And how about we bring along your monkey pal? Okay. Yeah, we can teach him sign language, and he can tell us stories about what you two did on the island together. No, 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 let's, let's not, let's not bring the monkey. You don't understand, Brian. What am I supposed to do without Jolly Farm? I'll be like an Italian mom without bad kids. Hey, 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 what the hell is all the commotion in here? We're not doing anything. You getting fresh with me? I'm tired of bailing both of yous out of prison. We're both in college, and we consistently make the dean's list. I'm telling your father. Good. Well, it's getting on my nerves. Like, right now, you are the most annoying thing in my life, with the possible exception of Evite. What's this? It's this website you can use to invite people to stuff. Does it have to be a significant event? No, not at all. Well, do you just get the invitation and that's the end of it? No, it'll remind you about it constantly. Is there any way I can customize this to showcase my personality through familiar clip art? Yes. And what about those replying? Can they demonstrate their sense of humor through hilarious replies? Yes, yes, yes to everything you're saying. I'm so excited to get started. You do that while I jump out this window. Evite, tell a friend and then kill yourself. But Lois, we already made plans. Yeah, I can't leave those guys alone. The last time they hung out without me, it was a disaster. All right, movie night. I am so psyched for Reindeer Games. What? I thought we were watching La Vie en Rose. Yeah, what do you mean? Reindeer Games is great. Everything goes wrong on the one day it has to go right. But La Vie en Rose is a beautiful movie about the real-life tragedy of Edith Piaf. Usually Peter would break the tie. Well, Peter isn't here, is he? Because you were supposed to be watching him, but you were smoking marijuana and he drowned! What? No, he's at a PTA meeting. Where the hell did you get that story? I don't know. I just can't stand it when he's not here. Wow, my picture in the paper. I didn't even get that when I brought that kitten and gorilla together. Huh? Did I tell you, Lois? Oh, that's beautiful, Peter. She's taking care of that kitten like it's her own. Yep, I knew eventually she'd stop tearing him in half. Oh! oh. Hey, Peter, you want to go hit the clam? Nah, there's no way she's in the mood. Let's just go to the bar. Sounds good. Heading to the bar with my friend, Peter. You're lying to yourself, Brian. Like those girls who insist their best friends are attractive. Oh, Stewie, I can't wait for you to meet my best friend. She is so cute. Yeah, she sounds awesome. Oh, my God, yeah. People ask her if she's a model all the time. Here she comes. <laughs> okay, okay, that was an extreme example. But face it, ladies, your best friends are not hot. No. Yeah, me too. No, I thought I was are. a doctor who had to deal with a lot of serious stuff, but always found a way to keep things light. 
Oh, my God. She's beautiful. Yeah, she is. It's not yours. Yours died. Yeah, and I bet I answered the customer complaint line at a Danish cookie company. Hello, Danish cookie company. No, I know they don't taste very good. Well, because they're very dry, aren't they? I mean, they, they came in a tin. How fresh do you think they were going to be? Look, it's dark and freezing in Denmark. Everybody who made these cookies has shot themselves. Well, I bet I did something really important and exciting. Like, like maybe I was a speechwriter for the first ever black president. Hey, can he say the word ask? Or, or is that a word we should avoid? Yeah, and I bet you I was the voice of an animated bird. I thought I saw a cat. I did see a cat. Probably hogging blankets. And if he's not smothering me, he's keeping me up all night writing with that giant plume of his. Dearest Augustine, I do hope this latest damp has not aggravated your gray lung. Dip, 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 dip. Matters stateside have taken a tragic turn as this year's gourd crop has fallen prey to a rather unexpected infestation of salt marsh cutworms. Dip, 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 dip. Peter, it's four in the morning. Come to bed. Marital concerns continue to bedevil me. Ugh, strong women always turn out to be nightmares, like Joan of Arc. Hey, guys, I'm not like other girls. I kill people and burp and watch so much porn. No. Isn't that cool? No. I like a lot of goofball comedies that other chicks don't like. My favorite thing to play is Call of Duty. Look me up. I'm Guitar Girl 76. Let's burn this chick at the stake. I love steak. Other girls don't. I'm actually more like a dude. Hey, guys, don't come in my room. I might be rubbing one in. Hey, how was gym class? Terrible. No, I don't think I can take another semester at the school, Ruth. It's torture. It's worse than sitting next to a baby on an airplane. So what brings you to Kentucky? I'm visiting my family. Ah, family man. Me, single and ready to mingle. Tom Brunel's the name. Insurance is the game. And right now, the game is very good to me. Yeah, that's smart of you, Meg. You know, sometimes I do part-time jobs for extra cash. Give me money, give me money, give me money, give me money, give me money. Hey, that was some good teamwork, Brian. We were like Lewis and Clark and the guy who likes to tip over canoes. Ugh, these rapids are treacherous. We should reach calmer waters by nightfall. Uh-oh, earthquake! Hey, come on! Uh -oh. Damn it, why is he still with us? I know. Until now, walking to the other end of the United States seemed like such a good job. I'm sorry, Peter, but the government makes the rules. I just enforce them. I believe this, Joe. This is like living in Russia. I might as well just move there. You don't want to do that. It's dark, it's cold, and hooking up is just a crapshoot because of all the big coats. All right, drop the coats on three. One, two, three. Oh. Yeah. Sorry, Quagmire. I'm still just upset about the damn government sticking its nose in my business. I hear you. Wasting our tax dollars on ridiculous causes. We gotta protect bald eagles. Bald eagles should be allowed to make their own decisions. Nah. Honey, I don't care that you're bald. I find you just as attractive. It's not about you. It's about my confidence as an eagle architect. Just for Eagles will give you thicker, fuller, more natural hair, so you can just focus on eagle stuff. You're an excellent architect. All I'm saying is you're being used and you're too clueless to know it. Well, you just think you're so superior, don't you? Like that first creature to walk on dry land. Hey, where'd you go? I went for a jog. What's a jog? It's a great way to stay in shape is what it is. Is it like a swim? Uh, uh, <laughs> no, no, it's, it's nothing like a swim. He sure did. The government's really gotten out of hand. Yeah, those bastards have ruined everything. The same way the village people ruined any gathering of a cop, an Indian chief, and a construction worker. Oh, my God. Can we get a picture with you guys? We're not those guys. Yes, please leave us alone. We're very busy. Now, where were we? Oh, yeah. We've got to solve that security problem for the Indian casino we're constructing. Man, that was some pretty impressive police work, Joe. Thanks, Quagmire. I'll be honest, it was nice to be acknowledged by the chief for once. Usually, he's just reminded me that whatever punk I'm roughing up ain't worth it. You son of a bitch! I ought to kill you right here! <coughs> hey! This punk's not worth it. You're right. You're not worth it. Well, just so you know, this is a really big deal. And they even asked me to be a guest on Muy Importante. Muy Importante! Muy Importante! Muy Importante! Ah.
I don't get it. Muy importante. Muy importante. A donkey just bit a child in the hallway. Peter, you blew up their marriage. This was a huge mistake. Well, we've all made mistakes. Eh. Ah, ah, ah. Why did the sign say not an exit? It should have just said Gorilla Door. Ah. Well, I guess we ought to call it a night. Come on, Stewie. Up to bed. No party? Oh, come on. I was going to show a slideshow of all those silly photos I took of Meg. Oh. 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 Ooh. Oh. I tell you something. If he touches my daughter, I'm going to be kicking butts and taking names. And then giving those names to other people whose butts I kick. <laughs> What's your name? Derek. What's your name? Michael. You're Derek now. Look, Quagmire, you're one of my best pals, and I'm asking you not to do this. I want to help you, Peter. I really do. But it's, it's like you're asking a fish not to swim. She's legal, and I'm going in. Well, we'll see about that. I ain't afraid to stand up to friends. Just ask Spartacus. I'm Spartacus. I'm Spartacus. That guy's Spartacus. Stewie, what are you doing? Oh, just doing a little Tai Chi. You know how the Asians look 30 until they're 60? This is why. Of course, then they suddenly look 100, but cross that bridge, you know. Is this a Japanese thing? No, Chinese. The Japanese have a whole other thing going on. Hey, you want to see a movie? No, nah, we're Japanese. Let's go watch a schoolgirl bang an octopus. Yeah! feel <laughs> good. Whoa, who's the hot chick? Oh, that's Stella. You don't have to whisper. She's deaf. Really? Oh, my God, that's hot. I didn't know you had a thing for deaf chicks. Any kind of disabled chick, Peter. They can do things to you that regular chicks don't even think of. Besides, you know me. I'm into a lot of different stuff. What, did you hear something? Nah, it's all good. All right. Hey, anything's possible, right? I mean, I once found the bat cave. Look, you can't expect to hire 60 workers to dig a cave under your house and then keep it a secret. I mean, those men live in this town. Yeah, but I told them it was part of a geological survey. Batman, Batman. They built a lazy Susan for your nuclear car. That's something they consider conversation worthy. What the hell am I going to do? All right, all right, just calm down. Calm down? We're all supposed to have dinner tomorrow night, and her parents are going to see that I'm a dog. Yeah! Ow! Ow! Yeah! Ow! Oh, shit. Don't worry, Brian, I'll come up with something. Remember, I'm the guy who came up with the choreography to Showgirls. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Elizabeth, darling, too much hands, not enough hips. Can I just show you? One, two, three, four, I'm dancing from my vagina. One, two, three, four, I'm grinding, I'm grinding. Orgasm eyes, orgasm eyes, and we're done. You do 20% that? And we got a movie. Gosh, you know, our little Scotty seems to be having such a good time with your son. Would you be interested in getting them together for a play date? Oh, that sounds like a wonderful idea. Look at them. They're getting along like Billy Bob Thornton and his cat. Billy Bob? Leave me alone. I'm taking a bath. Peter, I have to go talk to the Jennings and ask them to reconsider getting treatment for Scotty. I'm going with you, Lois. Yeah, I'll go too. All right, but try to keep your mouth shut, okay? You have a habit of saying the wrong thing. During his 22-year reign, this French monarch, known as the Spider King, had an ongoing feud with Charles the Bold, Duke of Burgundy. Peter? Who was King Louis XII? Oh, I'm sorry, Peter. We were looking for King Louis XI. Ah, damn it, I knew that. Ah, well, me and the with a big black King Louis XI. Tim, select. Well, and I'll tell you who you should really be praying for. Out-of-work clowns. I need 40. Come on, Lois. I think we're wasting our time here. They're obviously very committed to their beliefs. But their beliefs are crazy, Brian. I don't know who's crazier. These people are those Seventh-day Adventists. I'm a Methodist. We believe that the Lord is our Savior, and we remember Him by going to church and praising Him every Sunday. I'm a Seventh-day Adventist. We believe all the same things that you believe, but we go to church on Saturdays. What? <laughs> what? 
the hell are you talking about? I'm talking about us going in there and taking that kid and getting him some help. I mean, I know it's wrong, but it's better than just letting him die. And it's not a bad idea. It's like we're doing a public service, like those idiots who get together to paint a school. This underachieving, crime-ridden school is now fawn beige, thanks to guilty white people with no weekend plans. Yay! Scotty Jennings. Oh, my God. I know she was upset, but do you think Lois would have gone so far as to kidnap him? Of course she did. She'll do anything for attention. I know. She's like the boy who cried wolf. Wolf! Wolf! Did you hear that? Somebody needs help! Let's go! Oh, my God! Charles! Oh, my God! I'll run and get help! No! No, we've got to carry him! We can't leave him here! There's a wolf! Um, there's not really a wolf. What? Oh, my kids. I love them. Charlie! Charlie! <laughs> this was so funny in my head when I planned it. You know, Peter, you were right. This is actually kind of a rush. I mean, look at us. We're like Thelma and Louise. Yeah, but we all know that didn't end well for them. You know what? Let's just turn ourselves in. I got a great lawyer, and he says worst case, 8 to 12 years. And when we get out, we'll still have the rest of our lives ahead of us. Goodbye, terrible women. Oh, I see what's going on here. You're jealous. Chris has a wonderful young woman in his life, and you've got nothing. She's kind of right, Brian. All you've got is a worn-out rope toy and that squirrel who comes by once a day to taunt you. Hey! Hey, get out of here! This is our yard! You don't belong there! Don't you touch anything! I told you all this yesterday! Oh. Oh. I don't get it. Last time we saw you, Diane Simmons had just stabbed you in the back with a knife. Yeah, how the hell did you come back to life? Well, gentlemen, sometimes being a big Hollywood star has its advantages. Hey, is this guy somebody? Yeah, that's James Woods. We got a celebrity here. I repeat, this is not a normal dead person. This is a celebrity. Being a famous movie star entitled me to top-notch medical care, not available to the rest of society. My body was immediately taken to a Hollywood hospital, where I was hooked up to a 17-year-old ingenue. And in accordance with Hollywood law, her life force was infused into me, bringing me back from the dead. What happened to the girl? I threw her out a car window at Nora Ephron. Stop making Jack Nicholson a pansy! You're thinking of Nancy Myers! Yep. She is. Adults are stupid. The world would be so much better if it were run by babies. Tonight on NBC, shapes. <laughs> and then, colors. <laughs> Followed by an all-new Dad's Keys. <laughs> My God, who could be at the door at this hour? I don't know, but this late, it's got to be bad news. Everyone knows you always get bad news in the middle of the night. Wake up, wake up, wake up! Huh? What? You have cancer! What? Yeah, I thought you should know. Okay, go back to sleep. Wait, I have questions. <sighs> it's very late. Well, I guess I did kind of destroy your business, Mort. All right, then let's do it! Tomorrow night! Good. I'm just gonna have to reschedule my weekly re-circumcision. So what are we doing today? A little off the top? Yeah, but leave a little up front so I have something to play with. Sounds good. And take a look at the back. You see that there? Yeah? Yeah, let's trim that. I don't know when that started, but let's get rid of that. This is just an album! Yeah, that's what I've been trying to tell you. So, you know, can you forgive me? Oh, I suppose so. I mean, Magellan forgave the Land Ho prankster. Land Ho! Where? Where? Psych. Made you look loser. Good thing there wasn't land, or else you'd have to meet the natives with that mustard stain on your shirt. What stain? Ah. Ah. Why did I even bring you on this trip? Because I'm the best damn land spotter in all of Europe. It's true, you are the best. Yeah, I don't need you to tell me that. I guess he fits the profile, Peter, but Lois's brother is locked up in an asylum. Well, either way, we gotta get out of here. Otherwise, we're just sitting ducks. Hey, we all know this guy goes for the classy ladies. In fact, I once caught him trying to pick up a quack whore. <laughs> All right, calm down. We all make bad choices. Lois, I hope you're sitting down. I got something to tell you. Oh, God, what's wrong? Is everything okay? Is it Chris? No, it's Petey, your husband. 
But I'm calling with big news. I was Anita in the camp production of West Side Story. Peter, you know you're terrible at patter songs. I did okay. Uncle Patrick, why do you strangle fat people? It's probably a weird fetish thing. Some criminals have them. Like those anal retentive bandits who robbed Quahog Bank last year. All right, hands in the air, vertically. Both arms should be parallel to each other. You, fill this bag with clean, unmarked bills. But first, fix that notepad so it's at a right angle with the corner of your desk. And tap that pile of receipts against a flat surface so they're not sticking out haphazardly. You know what? Forget about the money. Everybody grab a broom. We are straightening this place up. Yeah, give them a chance, Joe. Like I did with scary teenagers. I used to be afraid of them until I realized they were just misunderstood. Hey, fat ass, give me your wallet. I could give you my wallet. But what I think you really want is love. It's true. I'm taking your shoes. Lois, I need $28,000. For what? I've decided I want to open a sushi restaurant. What do you know about sushi? I don't care about the sushi. I just want to yell at customers when they walk in the door. Hirashimashi! Hajimemashite! Here comes our black guy! You take these tickets back right now. No way, Lois. We're gonna win. I got lots of good karma built up from doing those USO shows. <laughs> so, apparently, they found a weapon of mass destruction. My putter. <laughs> All right, boys, go get him over there. And now, please welcome Mr. Bruce Jenner. No. 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 Just wanted to remind you fellas what you're all fighting for. <laughs> this is awesome. Now that we're rich, our lives are going to be so much better. You sure it was such a good idea to cash that lottery check? It seems foolish to have all this money lying around. Oh, you'd rather have it down at the bank where the Jewish guys can leer at it? Yeah. Right. yeah money. <laughs> Woo. Woo. Yes, Lois, I love fishing. Remember fishing was my not-at-all-memorable job for two years? No. You don't remember my fishing boat? You don't remember Santos and Pasquale? Not even a little. They were like male consuelas. It was a mistake making them Portuguese, though. People don't even know what a Portuguese is. That's what I thought a Portuguese was. Me and my brain, huh? And we're just getting started. Not great, Lois. I'm stuck in the middle of some bad stuff with my sister. I know. It sounded like there was quite a ruckus going on over there last night. That Jeff seems like kind of a monster. Yeah, that guy's scary as an Iraq lobster. Death to America! And butter sauce! Don't boil me! I'm still alive! Iraq lobster! Rock Lobster? The three of us. We go over there and we do what's right. We kill a bastard. Whoa, whoa, Quagmire. You know I could arrest you just for saying that. You know what else you can get arrested for? Soliciting a rooster. I don't know what this cockadoodle do thing is, but it sounds gay and it sounds scatological. I'm in. You're about to have a neat day. Oh, what happened? Uh, the wind must have knocked the satellite dish loose. Oh, crap, and I was going to watch G.I. Jose. Ah! Oh, no! You cut your forehead! What do we do? Hey, kids, if you have an open wound, get some dirt or kitty litter and rub it in there to stop the bleeding. Then get some sleep and wait for the body to heal itself. Now we know! And like I always say, remember, you know enough. G.I. Jose! Jeez, look at those two. They're going at each other like an Italian guy and a black woman. Oh. Hey, you can't park here! Excuse me? Having been officially challenged by her natural enemy, the black female prepares for combat by taking off her many rings. Meanwhile, the Italian male looks around to make sure the other Italian males are indeed seeing what he is seeing. Sensing the impending battle, a flock of Jews flies quickly away, as avoiding confrontation is their best chance for survival.
You're the one who's always cooking Brussels sprouts and broccoli. It's like an Irish bar fight down there. You're from one town over, so I hate your guts. I should be on Glee. Oh my God, I just drove. That was amazing, I can drive. Now I can do a slow cruise past my ex-girlfriend's apartment. 11.45 and the lights are on. Doing it with the lights on now, whore. Don't mind looking at his body. I love you so much, though. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Brian's going to be so mad at me. What am I going to do? Okay, it's all right. I'll just get a little bit of paint and cover up the dents. Unattractive women do it all the time. You look pretty today, Carol. Thanks. It's probably just the dress and the makeup. Oh, uh, now that I look closer, yeah, I think that's what it is, too. Um, hey, thanks for taking me out to dinner, Ryan, but I gotta say this food looks a little weird. Oh, Peter, Moroccan food is the jizz. I don't know. Looks like it might give me the kind of farts I get from eating Mexican food. Con cuidado! Es el stinko! What am I gonna do? I'm gonna be in so much trouble when they find out I wrecked Brian's car. They'll probably ship me off to Siberia. This sucks. I hate it here. Shut up. Drink wolf milk and watch Russian cartoons. We now return to popular Russian cartoon Shoe and Shoeless. Shoe and Shoeless. One is meaningless without the other. Happy Thanksgiving. Gobble, gobble. You guys, thanks so much for having us over. Well, we're just glad we can have people over again now that that giant crab's gone. Hey, guys, how you doing? Come on in. No, 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 Just go around it. He's not going to hurt you. Just go around it. No, 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 no. All right, I tried just going under him. I think we should probably just go home. Maybe we'll do it another time. No, 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 no. Okay, let's pick teams. I'll be a captain, and, uh, Mayor West, you can be a captain. All right, I pick you. You can't pick me. I'm a captain. No one had ever stood up to me like that before. I respected him from there on out. That's a great story, Grandpa. I didn't like it. None of my grandchildren had ever disliked one of my stories before. From then on, he was my favorite. Well, I don't like that story, Great Grandpa. <laughs> Future old people are wizards. Peter, I think you may have had one too many. Maybe it's time to ease off, huh? What are you talking about, Lois? Dad's getting drunk on Thanksgiving is a holiday tradition. I work hard to put a cornucopia on this table, and you're out showing your lower ankle to every Tom, Tom, and other Tom in our village. Don't talk to mother in like fashion. That's it. The belt is coming off. Okay, so then I went to Europe, Australia, Canada, all over. But I really missed you guys. I wanted to be with people who love me, no matter what. So I came home. Well, it sounds to me like you're a regular Benedict Arnold Drummond. What, what's he expecting us to cut to? Uh, I think he wants maybe, I don't know, Gary Coleman and a Napoleon hat? But we don't have that. We, we gotta come up with something. Uh, well, we got, uh, we got the cowardly lion as Lindsay Lohan's gynecologist. Play it. Play it. But he didn't set it up. Play it! All right. I'm gonna check her for diseases. There's just one thing I want you to do. What's, what's that? that? Talk me out of it. No, 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 no. Well, you gotta hand it to him. He had a dream and he made it happen. That's what the Wright brothers did. So, how's your boyfriend Orville doing? Ex-boyfriend, if you don't mind. And who cares? He's probably off in a barn somewhere working on a contraption with that weird brother of his. Ew. Ha-ha, <laughs> 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 bitch! You're so pretty, I miss you! Looks like a cross-dressing Cobra Commander. Who? Cobra Commander. He's the head of Cobra, the bad guys from G.I. Joe, the guys who oddly shout the name of their terrorist organization as they're attacking. Guys, we're under attack! By who? I don't know! Cobra! Oh, it's Cobra. Oh, of course. Look, they have the pictures of the snakes on their planes. Duke, what have I been saying for years? What makes a good terrorist organization? Brand recognition. Brand recognition. Dad, will you talk to Ezekiel? Will you tell him I'm not trying to corrupt his son? Please? All right, I'll do it. But don't expect any miracles. I'm not good with confrontation. Like when I got stuck behind that giraffe at the ball game. Yeah! Nice hit! Frozen rope! Awesome! What just happened? Ground rule double! Woo! I couldn't even see it. Yeah, it was something. Ducks on a pond! Let's bring him in! 
Could you please sit down? I am sitting down. You sit up. I am sitting up, but I still can't see a thing. Yeah, it sounds like a you problem. Let's go, Sox! Yeah, I sure do miss Lois and the kids. I'll tell you one thing. When I get home, I'm going to sleep like a log. Hey, I'm going to plug in the nightlight, if you don't mind. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and ask you to not do that. Look, sometimes in life, you got to say, what the hell, and just go for it. I mean, that's how we won the Revolutionary War. Colonel, the British are too entrenched across the river. I've told the men we'll hold our position. Negative. Tell the men we're going across. But, Colonel Goatbanger, we've... No, we need to do this, cause for, cause of, for a strategy. Hey, check it out. Lemon snow. What? Yeah, that stuff's delicious. Lemon snow? You mean it just falls from the sky like that? You bet. One of nature's treats. You gonna have some? Nah, I'm already full. But you should have some before the other kids get to it. What is it, like Italian ice? Yeah, exactly, like a sorbet. <laughs> ah, that's not lemon! No, it's not. You bastard! I was having fun playing in the snow, and now you've ruined it like a pizza place ruins a salad! Okay, four pizzas and a salad. Salad? How do you make a salad? First, you throw in the whole head of lettuce. Even the hard-to-eat white part at the bottom? That's what the people want. Now, what else? I got a can of whole black olives. Should I slice them up? What, are you crazy? No, you keep them whole. You're gonna want to know you've got an olive in your mouth. What about this tomato? Cut it into thirds. It should be big enough to pretend you've got red teeth. How about this carrot? Should I cut it up? Yes, but very thin lengthwise. The whole length of the carrot. One thin slice. Okay, what else do we got? Well, we got these hot peppers, but you can't really eat them. No problem. Dump them all in. Now, should we put it in a bowl? No, let's put it in a lasagna tray. Okay, great. I'll take it. Oh, and make sure to stick it right on top of the pizza so it stays nice and warm. Hello, every pizza place. Yeah, you know, Joe, you owed his family. I didn't tell anyone about your Fiona Apple tribute video. I've been a bad, bad girl. I've been careless with a delicate man And it's a sad, sad world When a girl will break a boy just because she can I'm broken Joe, open the garage I've earned this private time It just seems to me that perhaps it's time to think about retirement Never! Retirement's for old people I can work till I die, maybe even after that Mr. Pewterschmidt, the gentlemen from Zurich are here for your 10 o'clock. Will you need anything else? Mr. Pewterschmidt. Yep. Uh, we do all kinds of crazy stuff. Sometimes we even have phone sex. Don't you mean phone sex? No, Joe. Phone sex. Are you ready? <laughs> you better believe it. Oh, Peter. Yeah. Now your turn. And do it how I like. <laughs> okay. Yeah, don't wash the mouthpiece. Peter, get lost. I'm not going to retire, and that's that. Come on, Carter. Everybody's got to retire at some point. Like that drill sergeant with Alzheimer's. Looks like we got a joker here. What's your name, soldier? Sir McArdle, sir! Well, no, You look like some kind of joker to me. What's your name, soldier? Sir McArdle, sir! Are you me? Probably some kind of joker. What's your name, soldier? Sir McArdle, sir! Well, la de da I guess we got some kind of joker here. Yeah, have fun. Just remember not to go out into actual Florida. You don't want to meet those people. Hi, I just moved into the neighborhood, and I'm required by law to inform you that I am a sex offender. Oh, don't worry about it. So am I. This whole block is S.O.'s. We use the abbreviation S.O.'s because it saves a lot of time over saying sex offender, because that's all we talk about. Well, I'm also into football. Don't care. No time for F.B. All about S.O. Oh, Chris, you can't always believe what you hear. For example, everybody thinks that prostitution is illegal, but there are ways around it. All right, let's do it. Both of you are under arrest for prostitution. It's not prostitution. You paid her to have sex. No, I paid her to have sex and we're filming it. So technically it's not prostitution, it's a porno. Oh, well, as long as you're filming and selling it, it's legal. Enjoy your day. Remember, kids, she's not a whore if she's an actress. This has been a message from the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Or an Instagram oh, model. great. Uh, do you have any experience helping out people with special needs? Well, I did work for that old lady down the street. Meg, could you come here, please?
What is it? Could you see if I'm getting a bed sore on my back? Sure. Looks fine to me, ma'am. Thank you, dear. I must have just slept on it wrong. <laughs> I stole Meg's cutaway. I guess it could take Peter a long time to find a job in this economy. Well, it may not be that bad, Lois. I could see about getting back my old job as a police sketch artist. Now, did you get a look at the man who assaulted you? I did. Okay, can I get a description? Yeah, he was probably around 5'9", five, 5'10". Five, Which is it, 5'9 or 5'10"? I'd say 5'10". Okay, we'll go 5'9 and a half. And now, how old was he? Late 30s, maybe 37. Uh, I don't know, anywhere between 35 and 40. Okay, well, let's say 37. How, how about ethnicity? Yeah, he was Asian American. Asian American. Are we talking Korean? Are we talking Thai? Are we talking Vietnamese? Maybe Korean. Uh, could have been Japanese, but, but I, I think Korean. Okay, Korean. Now, how about identifying characteristics? Any... Any marks, piercings? He and... may have had a tattoo. He may have had a tattoo? Did have a tattoo? Which one was it? I, I don't know. It, it all happened so fast. You know what? It's fine. I have a preliminary sketch here. Is this the man who assaulted you? You only have two white shirts? Well, I had a third one, but it got ruined at that wine tasting at Michael J. Fox's house. Hi, I'm Peter Griffin. Now, we were going to show you the actual scene, but it, it would just make us all sad. So, uh, I'm just going to tell you what happened. See, he has this disease, and it makes him shake a lot. And what with all the shaking, he spilled his wine all over my shirt, and my shirt uh, was ruined. So that's what that was. Um, I mean, he was very nice about it. He said, he said, send me the bill. I mean, that's not how he said it. Uh, but, you know, we, we got there. Anyway, I sent him the bill, and he sent me this check. But uh, it, it's, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think I'm going to be able to cash this. Um, I don't, you, you think Tracy Paulin would, would be in charge of the checkbook, you know? Because, I mean, what else is she doing right now? I mean, I, I, don't, I don't think he's got the leverage to Rita Wilson her around town anymore. I mean, I, I, that's, I mean, that's where it's gotten. So, anyway, that's what happened to my shirt. I'm glad we took the high road on this one. What, what's that? Oh, wait, now they're telling me they do want to show it. I really like the finish on this Shiraz. Son of a bitch, what is your problem? You know, if you ever want to get anywhere with this girl, you got to ditch that negative attitude. You're, you're as bad as Negatron. Do as I command, and we will defeat the Autobots once and for all! Nope, not gonna work. Oh, come on. What did we talk about? Autobots always win. You think Optimus Prime's gonna be dead, but then he's not dead. I'm taking this from a robot that turns into a canoe? When there's a battle on a gently moving river, you'll want me. Well, you just think you know everything, don't you? You're like a black woman in hindsight. I told you. What did I tell you? Didn't I tell you? Cause I told you. Mm-hmm. And when did I tell you? A long time ago. And what did I say will happen when I told you? Exactly what just happened. Well, that's what her problem is. She has such low self-esteem that every time a man shows her the slightest glimmer of attention, she rushes into something serious and gets her heart broken like a teenage girl. Hey, Tyler, are you on your way to Algebra? Yeah, I'll see you there. <laughs> You're awful! The preceding joke was brought to you by men. Men, we don't know what we did. You, no, yeah, no, I know it's late. I just need some tropical fish food. Come on, where the hell am I supposed to go? You're in there! Don't worry, fish. I'm gonna take care of you. Because I know one day you'll do the same for me. I'm sorry, but your friend doesn't have insurance. I don't care what it costs! Just make this man well again! Thank you, fish. I've decided to move to Alaska and become an Eskimo. Alaska? But that's so far away. And the summers are so short. Yay! Summer's here! Awesome! Best summer ever! Let's stay friends! I lost my virginity! Yeah, right. To who? You don't know her. I met her at camp! <gasps> oh my god! Peter, I've made a terrible mistake! Well, that's what I tried to tell you, but you were stubborn as a pigeon at an ad agency. I don't think it's just crazy. Guys, 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 these are all good ideas, but I think what people really get excited about is dropped museum popcorn. But this is an ad campaign for a Nissan SUV. How does that possibly... Phil, 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 I was put in charge of this meeting, and we're going with dropped museum popcorn. The fat man in charge for a week? He's going to be in over his head, like when he was a boxing coach. Punch him, punch him again. Punch him, punch him now. Again, now you're getting punched. Punch back. Don't let him hit you. Get out of the way. Punch him. 
You know what I'm going to tell you. I got to punch You got to punch him more. All right, class, this course is going to cover all the significant moments in human history. Starting with the settling of the Old West, where brave pioneers survived against long odds. Honey, I have to go into town to get some supplies, so I'm probably going to die. But if I don't, I'll see you in 18 months with a canvas bag of salt and a tin of whale fat for the children. I've dug graves out back for all of you in the likely event that you too shall perish. You were a good man, Abraham. Please scrawl that on a rough-hewn piece of wood in my honor. I shall. The reign of Henry VIII. Did you enjoy what I just did for you, sire? Yes, very much so. Wow, when this is over, I am definitely keeping her head. Joseph Smith discovering the Book of Mormon. Oh, an old Con Ed bill. I mean, a New Testament of Jesus Christ, everyone has to sleep with me. What? And no dancing! Paris is such a perfect city. Uh, that is not entirely true. We have a lot of mime-on-mime -mime violence. Can I watch you write it? I don't know, Stewie. I kind of like to write in solitude. No, no, I promise. I'll be as quiet as a guy in a coma. <sighs> this is great. I can finally be alone with my thoughts. Wait, I've got it. Predator versus Batman. Why has no one done this? I need a pen. Where's a pen? Oh, right. I can't move. That's okay. I'll remember it. I mean, I can't forget a million-dollar idea like that. It's even better than the one yesterday about the guys who... Wait, I mean, I mean the woman with the... What was it? Was she a shapeshifter? Damn it, I just had it. All right, calm down. At least you've still got Batman and the... It was Batman meets... Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I just had it. What was it? Batman has a son? No, no, you idiot. No wonder your wife shot you. Brian, they're publishing your book. You're kidding. I, I can't believe it. That's the worst thing I've ever written. Not according to Penguin Publishing. In fact, you're supposed to call the chief editor. Penguin Publishing? One moment, please. Sir, I have a Brian Griffin on the line. Out! Get out! Get out now! You know, I don't want you to be offering me this just because we're related. I, I do have references you can call. You know, I, I spent a month as Melanie Griffith's loose skin holder. Melanie! Melanie over here! Oh, yeah. You look Melanie. beautiful! Can't Melanie, hold Melanie. on much longer! <gasps> I should have stayed in bed. Jeez, Stewie, there's no need to... Ooh, I said no gray M&Ms. These are all gray. Don't worry, Brian, I've got it all under control. You're a big canine star. They should be treating you like Spuds McKenzie. Man, I wonder what he's doing now. Oh! Now, ladies, approach him slowly. He can't really see anymore. I've injected him with the Viagra. Now, I'm going to roll him on his back, but you're pretty much going to have to do 100% of the work. Brian, settle down. You're worse than that guy from Penguin Publishing. You want to get a book published, don't you? Well, yes. Well, if you want to be in black and white, black and white's got to be in you. Hey, when the hell do I get into trouble? Well, didn't you get lost in the grocery store last week? Are you okay? No. Hey, I'd like you to meet my friend Brian. Brian, John McCain. Gosh, it sure is a pleasure, Mr. McCain. How do you two know each other? Oh, Rush and I used to solve mysteries together back in the day. I don't understand, John. The groundskeeper said he saw the mummy burning the flag. But mummies don't hate America. They sure don't, Rush. But Democrats do. ruh -roh. Democrats! Oh, it's okay, hot dog. But I think it's time we unravel the mummy and the mystery. I don't get it, John. How's a pig gonna help us lure the mummy? Rush, I've never known a Democrat to pass up pork. Now, let's find out who you really are. It's old man Barney Frank! And I would have gotten away with it, too, if it weren't for you meddling Republicans. Thanks for all your help, Globetrotters. That was a cold swish. Put her there. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> And the Grammy for Biggest Posse goes to Ja Rule. What? No, Madonna. Posse. Posse. Oh. oh. We now return to the Sunday afternoon movie, Masturbator Mother and Commander. Master...
What? Master, Captain, what? the enemy ship has opened fire on us. I'll be right out. Sir, we've already lost ten men. Hang on. Sir, don't you think we should return fire? Yeah, yeah, go ahead and do that, and I'll, I'll meet you up there in like five minutes. Fake, oh. fake, I promise I'll do better at this job than I did on the SAT. Nancy. Okay, yeah, you... Come on. Do math. Awesome! I'm gonna be a famous music star like Muddy Waters! Muddy? Baby? Everything all right in there? Oh, I think I'm about to pass a kidney stone! Ah! Oh! That's new. I've never had a kidney stone. Ah! Never had a kidney There's stone. There's no conflict in this movie! When are you gonna get rid of that stump? I've been asking you for months to get rid of that stump. I'll do it, all right? Just get off my back. <laughs> She's gone. We can finally be together. But, Tim, I'm rooted to the ground. We'll find a way. We'll find a way. As long as there's a hole. Oh boy, it's going to be tougher than the reviews for our American cousin. Blah, blah, blah. Lincoln assassinated. Blah, blah, blah. Tragedy for our republic. Uh... Oh, look! Ably performed by the entire ensemble. That's us. Yeah, that's, that's all of us. us. Randy Fulcher used to pants me every chance he got. My book report is on the giving tree. Nerd. Oh. <laughs> Randy. Nerd. I thought somebody do that to me. Randy. I thought somebody do that to me. Yep. Nerd. Randy. I beat him Ow, real good. Damn it, Peter, stop it! I gotta tell you, you're pissing me off worse than when I watched the OJ verdict with my old roommate. We, the jury, find the defendant, Orenthal James Simpson, not guilty. Yes. What the hell? What? what? Maybe we should get new roommates. Yeah, maybe we should. Oh. We now return to How I Met Your Father. Oh, Barney, I'm never gonna meet the right girl and get married. You know, Ted, don't you think it's kind of strange for a guy in his 20s to always be talking about getting married rather than getting laid? Yeah. Barney, no. I'm in love with you. Yeah, you're, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh. Suit up. No! No! And I got a job following fat people around with a tuba. Stop it! Cut it out! I have a glandular problem! That'll be $60. He's Brian. That's more Gotta ridiculous than afterwards. the theory of why Tom Cruise runs in all his movies. Wow, that cameraman has nice, strong arms. No. You can't catch me, gay thoughts. No. That better God, he's not like be. a totally different person, like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Sulu. <laughs> oh, no, I never should have drank those chemicals. <laughs> Hello. Oh, God. I haven't I misjudged this, someone this bad since my last physical. All right. The doctor will be in in a few minutes. Yeah, yeah. No doctor in town will see you after that lawsuit. Well, and I'll just find a doctor out of town. Exactly. Listen, uh, I know I'm not a regular patient, but I think I have some trouble with my prostate. So, uh, can you help me out, Dr. McCoy? No. What? So you can sue me, too? Oh, come on. It'll only take a sec. Forget yeah. it. I'm a doctor, not a patsy. No. Uh, Hello. Uh, what are we doing? Well, I say, this is an even bigger accomplishment than getting Mini Driver's head to fit on screen. You okay, ain't sick it is. Further. Move back some more. What? Back up some more. I'm as far away as I can get. Okay, have her enter. Action. Damn it. Cut. <laughs> <gasps> How did she get in? She must have been quieter than Britney Spears' dietitian. E easy on those trans fats. Not, not everything needs gravy. <laughs> you know, there's some carrots down at the other end. That that cheesecake was for everyone. Oh, this is an even bigger jackpot than when the Emperor figured out the formula for great Star Wars dialogue. Something, something, something dark side. Something, something, something complete. What you've done is more horrible than sex with Sharon Stone. Wow, that was great. One minute I'm filling up at Chevron, and the next I'm having sex with Sharon Stone. Yeah, now comes the best part. <laughs> oh! 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 
Remember, we tried to open that restaurant and we never quite got it going. Yeah, we got shut down because of my exploding cupcakes. Mmm, I hope these taste as good as they look. <gasps> Gerald! Oh. <laughs> the secret is in the frosting. But I'll never tell. You're gonna get sued is what you're gonna and get. And lately, this family has been lacking moral fiber. Especially you, Meg. Meg, what happened to you? She can't answer you. She can't even talk. Ever since she started smoking pot, she just kind of lays there. Really? It's really sad. And a tiny bit funny. Oh my god, I think I'm getting a contact high. <laughs> oh, no, I messed up too. Yep. Brian's gonna be really upset when he finds out. Eh, I'll just take him for a ride in the car. He'll forget all about it. Wait a minute. I know where we are. The park is near here. We're near the park, Lois. Oh, that's the tree. I peed on that. Hey, hey, Lois. Lois, there's another dog in that car. Hey, 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 hey! There's another dog in that car. Hey, are you seeing that? Hey, hey, hey! Other dog. F you. <laughs> Get me a beer, Brian. I am gonna prepare for this as thoroughly as Ben Affleck prepares for a role. Whoa, I gotta be Henry VIII in 20 minutes. Hello, 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 hello. Got it. Well, why can't she go back with my dad? Well, I can't answer that. But I'm gonna do my best to make her even happier than those kids on Three Wishes with Amy Grant. What's your wish, Billy? Can you cure my cancer? No, but how about if Spider-Man gives you a $50 gift card to Sears? Here, get well. Uh. It's just wrong for the military to mess with kids' minds. They're all gonna wind up in therapy like Peter was. Every time my daughter opens her mouth, I just want to punch her in the face. She's really annoying. Uh-huh. All right, let's explore that. What the hell's wrong with you? Your skin's, like, moving around or something. I believe I'm having some sort of seizure. I know. He's a visionary. Like Gandhi or Mozart or Picasso. Ladies and gentlemen, my newest work. Now, I know this person looks a little mixed up, but watch carefully. If I move this a down little. here and this over here Wait, what? and this part here, mm -hmm. anyone tell who it is yet? No? Okay, well, what if I move this here ben Affleck. and this here, and it's Diane Weist. I don't know who that and is. And now back to Romancing the Stone. The only way they're not going to kill my sister is if we give them the stone. Well, they're going to be looking everywhere. We'll have to hide it in my chin. Uh-oh, here they come. You better get in there, too. Oh, if I can just get her to hit me one more time, it'll give me the rush I've been looking for. <laughs> oh, what's next? What's next? What's next? Oh, God, I've been so bloody naughty. Oh, I need to be taught a lesson, and you're the one to do it. Oh, yeah! oh boy. Yep, there oh, it is. thank yep. you. No. Thank no. you. No, I don't like being beaten. We now no. return to Japanese girls think small versions of things are really cute. Oh, look at my tiny dog. I'm going to put it in my tiny purse. <laughs> tiny phone. <laughs> tiny everything. <laughs> What? Sorry, I fell asleep watching Sabado Gigante last night. grande. <laughs> oh, shit. Mother Superstore USA has taken all my business. Mine, too. In fact, the only guy in town making any money is that guy who makes tumbleweeds. Y'all laughed at me. Y'all laughed at me. Well, who's laughing now? We're still <laughs> laughing at you, motherfucker. We're still laughing at you. What do you oh, think of mind. this? That makes you attractive. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Well, I never was very good at building things. Like that time I built that handmade electric razor. By gluing many razor blades to this oh. ordinary desk fan, I'll save time in my morning routine. Oh, God. Wait. Wait. Ah! Oh, Lois, wait. I done it again. Again? Again? God, this place Again. officially sucks worse than the WNBA. And at the top of the second half, it's 16 to 9. Easton leads the scoring with four. And that's why she commands $7,000 a year. These gals sure do make it look difficult. But is having this minor skill worth being so unattractive? That's for the fan to decide. <laughs> Boy, this sounds like more trouble than a moose on the interstate. Hey, can you help me out? I'm trying to get a couple of bucks for something to eat. What's moose stuff? Uh, whatever you want it to be. I could have sex with you, or I could just stand over there and drink from the lake. And everything in between. Get in. Ah!
Eh, throw that away. I don't want to go. Besides, Sunday's my internet porn night. Oh, yeah. You're my Chinese Lois. Oh, God, my eyes are There are plenty of things that are much worse for children than television. Like when Peter babysat for the neighbor's kid. My eyes! All right, uh, I couldn't find your toys, so uh, why don't you just play with this blow dryer and these rattles? Oh. Yeah, guess that's it. Well, you probably want me to get out of your hair, so uh, here's the Drano in case there's a clog. Uh, soap's right there next to the radio, and towels are on the roof. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, good night. You got it. Good job, little nigger. Oh, hey, did they ever unfreeze Walt Disney? Uh, unfortunately. Welcome back, Mr. Disney. Are the Jews gone yet? Uh, no. Put me back in. <laughs> Don't worry, Lois, I'm good at finding people. I was the one who found Bush after Hurricane Katrina. Uh, Mr. President, are you up there? Go away! Sir, there's a disaster in New Orleans. I'm reading Super Fudge. You gotta come down and deal with this. Don't make me do stuff. Oh, man, I can't believe I'm sleeping with a model. I'm luckier than the state of Rhode Island. Well, I can't decide what to call this place. We'll flip a coin. All right, heads, Rhode Island. Tails, Cockapoopoopeepeeshire. You're watching BBC Four. Previously on Condensation. Ellen, there's moisture on the outside of my glass. It's condensation, Johnny. But what about the fog on the windows? It's not fog, Johnny. It, too, is called condensation. My Con eyes... Condensation. My eyes are still on fire! Oh. Yes! Oh, this is more exciting than that time I got to ride the washing machine. That's soothing. That's very soothing. Very soothing. I like this. You know, you really shouldn't lie on that bedspread. I saw this report on TV about how filthy hotel rooms are. In a moment, we will use the special lights to see just how filthy this seemingly clean hotel room really is. No, no. And, and no arguments, Brian. I already went through the trouble of borrowing this ramp from Joe. I'll see ya, honey. I'll be back in a while. Joe, are you all right? Don't help me up. I need to retain my independence. Ah. You need anything from the market? Power bar! Oh, wow, oh. I feel like an explorer. Just like my ancestor, Ponce de Leon Griffin. There it is, boys. The fountain of youth. Just like I told you. There's no way I'm getting my happy place in the fountain of youth. Now, one time I went to this food place called Dick's and they put a white hat on my head that said I was hung like a white five-year-old. I refused to go make it true by putting my balls in the fountain of youth. Absolutely not. Let's move on with the video amicably. Well, that was worth the eight-year boat ride. And now back to the facts of life. Hey, Mrs. Garrett, can I ask you something? What is it, Joe? Is it a problem if your penis and your vagina touch each other? What? Well, I tried to keep them separated, but uh, I woke up this morning and they were sort of together. I, I just didn't know. Is that okay? You have both? Well, yeah. Doesn't everybody? Which no! one's the woman? Is either one of them a woman? Wow, that sounds even better than when I got paid to take part in that study. Hmm. The only one oh. who couldn't finish the puzzle is the fat one. Oh. I'm sorry. I can't see what you're going for here. What, uh, let me look at... Oh, it's a jar of preserves. Oh. Yeah, I guess that's what all the red pieces were, huh? Ooh, Rupert, bad idea trusting the Celtics. Worse than when I trusted Brian to pack my parachute. I like that. Yep. <laughs> I'm not worried about high school at all. Worst case scenario, I'll carve out a niche as the effeminate male friend of the popular girls. Okay, tonight's my OC party. I got a case of wine coolers so we can drink every time Ryan seethes. Cool, I'd love to come. Me too. How'd you get the wine coolers? No, oh, it's not. I just did some stuff for a guy in the parking lot. Does it if you invite a chick somewhere and she says she would love to come, take her to that place. <laughs> Anyone have any scope? For God's sakes, you're embarrassing me. Not as embarrassed as I was when I got that job entertaining prison inmates. Do uh, it again, Griffin. Oh, come on. I just did uh, it like five times. Do it. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard and they're like, it's better than yours. Damn right. It's better than yours. I can teach yeah. you, but I have to charge. Yeah. 99. And now back to butthole, Blind I... Justice. Blind Justice. He lost his sight, but not his vision. I need uh, you to go down to 54th and Main. Talk to the suspect's wife. While you're there, see if you can get a sample of his hair to match his DNA. Uh, All right, I'm on it. 
My eyeballs. Oh, God. You know, Chris, a little hard work can do wonders. Uh. Just look at how they built the pyramids. They say all peoples must go through some hard times. Well, we Jews are getting ours out of the way early. From here on out, it's going to be nothing but smooth sailing. The Bible also says a senior citizen built an ark and rounded up two of every animal. Hey. Yeah? What the hell is this? Oh, you didn't really give any specific guidelines about mating. Did you name it? What? Did you name it? Uh, yeah, he's Paul. Yeah? Well, it's gonna be a hell of a lot harder for you now because he's going the fuck overboard. Yeah, and don't try any of your salesman funny business. Like that guy who convinced me to buy that pet Tyrannosaurus. Okay, Patches, now fetch! Oh, oh my god, oh my god, drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it! Ew, it's got spit all over it. Well, don't take it too hard. You're not the first person to get fired. Look, uh, Louis, the French people really want to thank you for your services as king, but, uh, it's just not working out, and we've decided to go another way. So... Yeah... Well, kids, just when I thought we'd never find an assistant coach, I ran into this drifter hanging out near the elementary school playground. He's got a clown costume in his trunk, so we know he's good with kids, and pictures of boys in their underwear, so uh, he's probably had some medical training. Oh, boy. Well, I'm going to take off while he fits you for cups in that windowless supply shed. See ya. Boy, Stewie's more wound up than Dad was that time he took steroids. Peter, could you please pass the potatoes? <laughs> ah, damn it, Meg! Stress release candles for those extra tough days at the office. Oh, you don't know the half of it. On Tuesdays, I work returns. Yeah, I bought this boom box here, and it's got this high-pitched whine. Well, let's have a look. Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> it's yours now, sucker! Now yeah. I know how Alec Baldwin feels when he feeds his brothers. There you go. There Ma! you go. Ma! Ma! You're the Ma! What are you doing? I haven't been this excited since I learned how to speak Braille. Hey, bump, bump, no bump. Bump, three vertical bumps, four bumps in a square. <laughs> yeah, I've heard they all look alike. Oh, God, I feel more delirious than my cousin, Stewie Cruz. I'm in love with Katie Holmes! I'm in love with Katie Holmes! I'm not gay! Go see my new movie! I'm in love with Katie Holmes! I'm not gay! Well, I guess it couldn't be worse than that summer I spent in India. Whatever you do, short round, don't touch anything. Okay, Dr. Jones, I no touch anything. <laughs> Lady only here cause she humping director. Devin, do you have a cigarette? Sure. And here's a copy of my last movie. It's essentially Brokeback Mountain from the point of view of the horses. No. No. Hey, the sun's been up for an no. hour. Shouldn't we get uh, riding? Uh, are they either. still sleeping? I don't know. I'll check. Ah! What? Ah! What? What? Run! What is it? Oh my god! What? Oh my god! Ah! Run! We now return to Cutting in Line in Front of Italians. Hey! Oh. Hey! Copernicus, why don't you navigate yourself to the back of the line with your feet and stand there with your shirt? Oh, Stewie, it's wonderful. This is going right up on the fridge. Really? The fridge? It's like we have a little Michelangelo in the house. Okay, see you guys later. <laughs> <laughs> I almost lost it when you said to put it on the fridge. I know, I mean, what the hell is it supposed to be, a pelican or a school bus? <laughs> Muhammad Ali drew this. <laughs> what a dumbass. Hey, let's spit on it. <laughs> well, we're not the first people to be dragged off against our will. Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? Damn it, I swear to God, I will turn this ship around. That works. Okay. Can we teach us a lesson? Yeah, that's even better. All right, if that's what you... Wait a minute! And now back to Roundtable with Al Michaels, Harold Ramis, Ray Romano, and Kermit the Frog. These zoning laws are infringing on the rights uh, of if citizens. If I might interrupt for a minute, I'd like to point You've out You've had that your time. Let someone else I speak. I haven't said a word. It was that guy. Don't look at me. I can't get a word in edgewise. Well, then who the hell's been talking this whole time? Oh, well, that's oh, a hard question. question. Right. 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 Forget it. I've missed too many other opportunities. There he is. Took you long enough. Just what we need. Hey, guys. I'm coming in. Ah, oh, oh, God. Oh, boy. I am not going to hear the end of this. You jackass! Now you've done it, idiot! I know I don't fit here, but I'm just going to settle right in. That's like fight. yesterday, I started a lovable gang of Cockney pickpockets. All right, boys, the best targets are old rich people. Here's one now. Go get him. 
Oh, no, there's no police here to help me. I hope you don't find the money strapped to my thigh. Oh, God. Oh, God. He can't be dead. There's got to be something I can do. Maybe I'll bury him in the pet cemetery. <laughs> okay, I'll bury him in a regular cemetery. These Texans are socially backward, and politically, they're all stubborn as a mule. Mother nope. Fucker, what? Sorry, Kevin Bacon wasn't in Footloose. What? Of course he was. No, he wasn't. You lose. Of course he was. He was the star. No, nope, you... you're wrong. Look it up. I don't have to look it up. It's common knowledge. Nope. He was on the nope. cover of No nope. People magazine nope. when the movie. Nope. Came. Everyone nope. knows Kevin nope. Bacon was a star nope. of Footloose. No, nope. it was nope. a huge movie. Nope. He was the nope. lead. No, 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 no. Now neither one of them gets sex. It's a little Come on. Loose. Come on in. Your family's waiting in here. There are toys and a puppy and food that's not served from warming trays. Come on, you gotta want it. Oh, you gotta do better than that. Okay, I guess you don't want a new family, toys and a puppy. Ah! We are gonna raise more hell than Hellraiser. Hey, honey. You want some salt for your steak? Yeah, sure. Ah, <laughs> gotcha. That's more salt than you wanted. Remember those sweet, warm New England summers? Remember nope. sipping lemonade underneath a shady tree? Remember when you hit that pedestrian with your car at the crosswalk and then just drove away? Pepperidge Farm remembers. But Pepperidge Farm ain't just gonna keep it to Pepperidge Farm sell free of charge. Maybe you go out and buy yourself some of these distinctive Milano cookies. Maybe this whole thing just disappears. We now return to Rodney, King of Queens. Rodney, did you take out the trash? Oh, uh, I forgot. <laughs> oh, no, she didn't. Besides, it's bound to go better than my deep sea training. Well, we got a long time in this decompression chamber. Uh, you guys mind if I turn on the radio? Peter, don't! Oh, nice going, oh, Jack. Oh, hey, 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 sure the hell this. out of me for trying to brighten your day with music, hey, all right? You idiot, use your brain. You, you, you're an idiot. Oh, ah, hey, 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 stop, 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 stop. Oh, man, we're going to need some butter or something. Because I'm your son, and I'm tough. I made it halfway through failure to launch. I just never managed to get my life together. <laughs> Isn't that hilarious? No. <laughs> you're cute. Done. I'm more of a sellout than you were when you did those Butterfinger commercials. Nobody better lay a finger on my Butterfinger. Do. Come on, Lois. Sometimes kids can be a handful. Look at Gregory Peck's kids. Are we there yet? It's crowded back here. Stop touching me. Your leg is rubbing up against mine. Hey, quiet down or I'm pulling over. Stop breathing on the window. You idiot, that's condensation. It's on the outside. That's it. I will come back there and so help me God, I will hit you with my ring hand. Oh man, this is gonna be great. Oh, are we watching a movie? The lab results are back. You've tested positive for nymphomania. Oh no! What should I do? Take two of these and call us in the morning. Well, now that's not going to help her nymphomania. It's only going to exacerbate it. Yeah, exactly. Yep, exactly. For the rest of my life, exactly. I'll be as lonely as Pat Robertson and Jerry Falwell after the rapture. Damn it, Jerry. Why are we the only ones still here? I don't know. We hated all the right things. Now there's nothing left to hate. I'm going to hate that rock. No, I'm going to hate that rock. Let's both hate that rock. I hate you. I hate you, too. Please don't. Ah! Ah! You dirty motherfuckers! I'm sending me this zesty shit! This is the motherfucking things I get! God damn it! It's the greatest show I've seen in years! Not like the last time I was at a comedy club. I hear this guy's hilarious. He played Kramer, you know. Oh, this is gonna be fun! <laughs> to swap my vocal cords with Patrick Stewart. Hey, Lois, I spent the afternoon making a list of famous Armenians. Eric Bogosian, Andre Agassi, Jerry the Shark Tarkanian, that is all. You'll be kept as healthy as a horse. So, how's that leg doing? Uh, great, great, never better. Good. Why don't you try putting some weight on it? Uh, sure. Yes, yes, oh, that's good. That feels good, very strong. Sorry, Thunder, I gotta put you down. Oh! How's your leg, huh? How's oh. your leg? You ready to race? Oh! Oh! oh. 
Oh! All right, don't freak out, Peter. Don't freak out like you Only did when you goldfish died. Only black women like that type of thing. Here don't you that go, for Lieutenant white Shiny Sides. It's okay. Yep. You don't have to eat it now. Yep, ain't got to eat it all. You're just sleeping. You just sleeping. You'll eat it yep. later. You eat it later. You'll eat it later, Lieutenant Shiny Sides. Lieutenant Shiny Sides. Yep, there it is. I'll testify against you, just like I did against Michael Jackson. Stewie, Aww. did Mr. Jackson behave inappropriately toward you? Well, yes, but the worst part was he never called back. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't know, but uh, in all seriousness, yeah, he was actually pretty aggressive. That's terrifying. Face it, Brian, she's dumber than a Boston-area book report. The novel I chose to address is Oliver Twist by Charles Dickens. Queer name, right? The book was actually not bad. <laughs> I'm entitled to these things, Lewis. Especially cool. after I got shafted by that Asian Santa at the mall. What you want? What you want for Christmas? Um, I was thinking Santa? maybe one of those old-timey... Oh, too late! Take too long! Sad Christmas! Nasty mother. What you want? Fire truck! What color? Red! Next! Ah. Peter, this is more irresponsible than when you fed your mogwai after midnight. Peter, didn't the little Chinese man tell you not to feed him after midnight? Oh, come on, Lois. He's so cute. And he's hungry. What could happen? <laughs> Hello, I'm Fran Drasha. <laughs> shoot it. Shoot it. Ah, kill Run. it, kill it! Run for it. Oh, God! What's that? Oh! Shit. It's more disgusting than when you gave me that Christmas gift. Oh, oh what crap. is it? A little birdie? Uh, oh, my God, it's dead! Yep. Brian! The gift that keeps on oh. giving. Oh, Brian, yep. this is disgusting! What? Oh, my God, get it out of here! Like I'm, I'm sorry, I, I thought, I thought you'd like it. Brian, I love it! Who doesn't I'm like I'm gonna call you Sticky Head. See? I love you, Sticky Head. Yep. As long as it's this still is weird warm, in that rap video you know, by MC Isha. Going Hell. up the stairs and going down the stairs Hell and going no. up the stairs and going down the stairs no. and going up the sideways stairs. No, bro. You have to get Look out at of all these Hummers. What kind of jerk oh. would drive one of those? I love Hummers. Dude, That's this car coming. kicks ass, and I can watch Madagascar while I'm driving. What kind of music do you like, Gloria? Hippo hop. Oh, yeah, that. baby. Yeah, absolutely. Dude, those animals are so funny. They make me want to merge without looking. Oh, that was Speed yeah, Racer. Rumsfeld! He was Indian, you jerk. Was Speed Racer Indian? The world will never know. Uh, uh, that guy's not yeah. getting swiped right on Tinder. Ah, oh, this is even worse than when you ate that bubble gum out of the garbage. Brian, Ooh. did you get into the garbage last night? Uh, no. Why? Don't lie to me, Brian. I'm not lying. <laughs> we now return to Sunday Golf on CBS. And Mickelson here trying to save Parr. And there's Mickelson's wife. God, is she hot. Look yeah, at that rack. Look at there's a downhill lie for you. Uh, they're just out there begging to be touched, pleading. Yep. How many golf balls do you think she can fit in her mouth? I'd hit that one in the rough if you know what I'm saying. <gasps> what? Hey, Greg, you'd pork her for a week and then get tired of her. Yeah, you're right. That's what I do. That's my thing. But a hell of a week, though. Hell of a week. <laughs> and I think I just got an idea. A much better idea than when I did magic for the blind. <laughs> it's kids, kids! Shiny, gooey, stretchy, fun! Hasbro's best thing ever! Sticky, yummy, bouncy, fun! Not, Hasbro's don't... best thing ever! It's not yummy. Fly it! Yeah! Don't, Toss don't it. Fly it! Awesome! Swim it! it. Don't, don't swim eat it. it! Whoa! Hasbro's Only best thing ever! Little bit. Kids! Kids! Ah! Not kids. It's no. so awesome! No. I want it! This works! We now return to Superman 5, The Broken Condom. There's a broken condom in Superman? Hey, Lois, ready to go to dinner? Yeah, sure. Just let me grab my purse. Word? Oh, shit. It's not okay, mine. Okay, ready. Ooh, on yep. second thought, I got something I gotta do back on Krypton. I thought Krypton was destroyed. I think we should see other people. <laughs> it's like listening to those two foreign guys down at the coffee shop who've been living in the U.S. almost long enough to sound American. Oh, man, what a good bunch of partying at that discotheque. They played one of my audience requests. Way awesome. I myself drank like five liters of beer. Any more and I would have ended up in hospital, man. Oh, you said it, friend. But I wanted to stay because I almost had sex on this girl. Oh, yeah, but it was so expensive. Each drink oh. was like $6.40. Bro. I've never had we sex We now return to Harrison Ford telling random people he wants his family back. Oh. I want my family back. Okay. 
Give me back my family. Get off me! Oh. I want my family back. <laughs> we are going to patrol the borders and keep this town as clean as a Jewish porno. Oh. I own four apartment buildings. Mm. I have central air. Oh. And a well-funded 401k. Oh, we are going to have sex at some point. No, no, we're not. That son of a bitch! He's a killer like Bernie gets. You know, the subway vigilante from the 80s? I, I, I used to do a bit about him back when I was doing stand-up. Ah, what else is in the news? Oh, 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 Bernie Getz. You, did, did, you hear, did you hear about this? The, the, this guy, Bernie Getz, shot a bunch of muggers on the subway. Did he? Wouldn't mind having him with me next time I go see my mother-in-law. <laughs> no, but really, New York City's a great place to live if you're a cockroach. You suck! I know. Yeah, yeah you suck. I got no money. Oh, this I couldn't man. even afford to get my hair cut yesterday. <laughs> Brian, you have got to get Dylan under control. He's terrorizing the whole family. Yeah, you wouldn't believe what he did to Meg yesterday. He made her watch the other 178 hours of Monty Python stuff that isn't funny or memorable. I have a pet hedgehog named Zippy, and I shall walk her to town. And each time my foot hits the ground, I shall say boing, boing, no. boing. No. I'm a girl! I don't even like the good Monty Python sketches. Oh! Sounds like you need a roommate. Where'd you get that kind of money? I picked up Chris's paper route. <laughs> what the fuck? Gosh, gosh, bagosh, it's a brand new paper boy. That's a mighty full sack you're carrying. Piss Mother. off, you perverted old freak. Oh, we got a fighter. I had a female tell me that lately. Sometimes I feel more useless than the head of the maids union. And what exactly are your demands? We need more lemon pledge. You need more lemon pledge. <laughs> We're not responsible for that. You should just bring it from your own home. No. I am going to kick him out of this house faster than NASA kicked out the Cocoa Puffs bird. Okay, your physical exam was within range. You aced the flight simulator. I guess all that's left is the psychological screening. How do you feel about this? Ah, oh my god, Cocoa Puffs. No, that's not me anymore. I'm just here to fly, sir. Coming this fall on Fox, a new reality show. Who wants to marry Corky from Life Goes On? You won't believe what happened. See, look, Maggie just walked out on you. He's a bad man, like Jody Foster. Oh. Oh, no, Jody. It's my husband. He's home from work early. Don't worry, baby. He had to find out sometime. Now you're talking, Angela. This country needs more immigrants like my cousin Peter the Pig needs a new house. Uh, I wouldn't do that if I were you. What? I said I wouldn't do that. I said knock it off. Why? Because I just made stool in there, and if you blow it down, the whole woods is going to stink. Do you understand? Do you understand me, sir? I had another date. You know, I'm glad you're finally putting yourself out there. Lois would have wanted you to move on. Yeah, only this one was kind of awkward. My date was a stick figure. So, I, how would this work in, in bed? Well, I can't do sex, but I can give you a stick job. No. Nope. That, uh, that sounds... Yes, it tired, is very unpleasant. Tired of stick jobs. My parents are not no, gonna no like this, jobs. Peter. You know, they're still angry at how you behaved at our wedding. You may now kiss the bride. Kiss her? I am gonna destroy her. But the freakiest was that date I had with Barney. Peter, you don't know how badly I need this. I don't know, Bonnie. It's it's just a little weird. Joe's a friend of mine. No, it, it's okay. I promise you, it's okay. I'm not sure. It's okay, Peter. Tonight's movie presentation is brought to you by Sanka. Don't you wanna wanna Sanka? Oh, don't you wanna wanna oh, Sanka? Don't oh, you wanna wanna Sanka? Oh, no it doesn't holes. keep me up at night, but it helps me poo. Oh God, Lord! The only job I could find was for a phone sex line, and I sucked at it. What am I wearing? Um, a hat and glasses. Oh. What kind of underwear? Um, I don't know. Big underwear, I guess. I'm sorry. What? Oh. What would I do to you? Well, um, I guess maybe we'd get pizza and we could watch House. All right, I am totally flaccid, but thank you anyway, ma'am. I appreciate your time. <laughs> we now return to busy business lady whose life is missing something, but she doesn't realize it because she's so busy with business. No, no, I cannot make that business meeting. I've got a different business meeting at 3, and we'll be doing business there. 
I was wondering if you're free for coffee. Oh, no, I can't. I've got a lunch meeting and then a meeting after lunch. After that... Shh, shh, shh. Over the next 90 minutes, I'd like to show you that all your problems can be solved by my penis. And that, my friends, is dating, pretty much. Joe, you got this all wrong, like God did when he made Rosie O'Donnell. You can't put a vagina on this man. Why not? I'm God. <laughs> well, what do you want to do about the breasts? Uh, take a couple out of the bin we can't find matches for. <laughs> uh, Joe, you are going to be happier than bullfrogs on vacation in Ethiopia. Oh, this is fantastic. This oh. is even better than they said it was in the brochure. Oh, yeah, I feel like a pig, but come on, we're on vacation. Exactly. Right. Don't hate yeah. yourself. We're on vacation, exactly. right? Yeah, I hear Madonna's raising this guy's kid. Oh. Are you serious? We come to a mansion and you want to live with the help? Ugh, that's like going to a strip club on a Tuesday afternoon. Is there anyone here who hasn't had a C-section? This party's worse than a Mexican funeral. Es con mucho dolor que digamos adiós a Javier, y Pepe, y Carlos, y Lupe, y otra Lupe, so Salvador, Fabián, Jesús, very true. María, it's why it's Vicente, y los perros de Vicente. I got jumped by these one Mexicans. There was like 42 inside of a two-bedroom apartment. They all came running out after me. Bro, they, I don't know how to them. tell you this, they but you weren't packs. born in America. You were born in Mexico. What? When I found out that your real father was a drunken Irishman, I went to Mexico to terminate my pregnancy. Oh. But God had other plans, oh. and you were born right there. Oh. 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 You were so beautiful, and I loved you. I'm free now. I've got my own place, no attachments. Here you are. That's just the kind of can-do spirit that built this nation. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal. Except the Jews. Franklin, for the fifth time, I'm sorry you overpaid for your house, but it's not going in. You'll be sorry. Noted. Moving on. Well, by God, Brian, we're murderers. I guess this means you'll be going to doggy hell. <laughs> 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 well, I haven't been this disappointed since I saw the lake house. See, the mailbox is like a time portal. Everything Keanu Reeves puts in there, Sandra Bullock gets two years later. Her vagina. Oh, his, his vagina. Oh, my Hickory Farms package is here. Mr. Superman, no here. Oh, uh, well, we're looking for a missing... I know. Uh, Mr. Superman, he, he no, he's here. Yeah, okay. Well, uh, can you just give him this flyer? I know. No, I have no money. Just take this flyer, and if you see this baby... No, no. Yeah, that's a great achievement. Just like the first chemotherapy patient to figure out the handkerchief look. Honey? Get in here! What is it? Just, just get in here! What? Oh my god! Right? It's like you don't, don't even, even have, have cancer. cancer! I know! Oh my god! <laughs> no, but I still have pretty aggressive cancer. We now return to Damn Nature, You Scary on BET. Damn, look at that bitch go! He hauling ass! That thing come by my house, I kill it! <laughs> that little rat looking thing just got ate! Damn, nature, you scary. Pina, why would you do that? Because Speedy Gonzalez is an immigrant and a bad influence on our children. So I created his American equivalent, Rapid Dave. I got you now, mouse. Yeah, well, up yours, cat. Quickly, 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 run fast, run fast, quickly. That's, I that's... hate shows that cut away from the story for some bull crap. <laughs> Ah, uh, now see, that's an even more beautiful sight than 72 virgins waiting in heaven for a suicide bar. I don't want them. I hey, don't want no virgins. We're Terrible. playing Magic the Gathering. Want to nope. join? Osama! Boys, there's only one answer. We gotta re-cripple Joe. It's the right thing to do, like taking out Hitler. <laughs> Ooh, see, we had a plan it. for that all along. 
Oh. Well, I think you've been wonderful. Like when you took her to that new movie, I'm rich and you're poor, but let's dance together. I'm rich and you're poor, but let's dance together. Society won't like it. I don't care. Good for you. Good for you. Boy, great party, huh, Fred? Yeah. You know, Bon, I figured I ought to tell you this. I was walking by your house the other day, and uh, I poked my head in the window, and Betty was undressing. Uh, she saw me there, but she didn't stop. What? She didn't stop. I mean, she saw me there looking at her, and she kept undressing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you serious? Yeah, I got an erection. And you'll be cooler than a mid-'80s novelty answering machine message. I'm glad you called, but I'm not home. But I'll be back before too long. You gotta wait for the beep. You gotta leave your name. You gotta leave your number. Wait for the beep. It's me again. I just had to hear it one more time. And now back to One Tree Hill. Dude, let me tell you something. There is nothing that'll ever happen in the rest of our lives that's as important as what's going on right here, right now, in high school by these lockers. I've got so many problems. Hey. Nothing that can't be fixed by staring at a lake. High school is such a serious thing. These problems matter. No, they don't. They don't. Great. Don't don't. This is a bigger waste of time than Ringo's songwriting. They don't even have jobs. Hey, guys, I wrote a song. Oh, that's great. Oh, good, Ringo. Fantastic. You know what? I'm going to put it right here, right on the refrigerator. That way we'll get to see it every day. All right. Yeah, she looks worse than Andy Garcia when he had his conjoined twin. I had a great time with you tonight. You're really amazing. Thanks, Andy. I had a great time, too. Hey, how about some love for Shoulder Guy over here? <sighs> Shoulder Guy wants to get in on this. Just ignore him. Okay. So, do you maybe want to go in the other room? Sure. Sounds good. Oh, and show the guys going with you. Rick, shut up. Hey, bitch, want to suck on my tooth? Goodbye, Tin Man. Goodbye, Dorothy. Goodbye, Lion. Goodbye, Dorothy. And I think I'll miss you most of all, Scarecrow. Oh, okay. It's kind of an odd thing to say. Yeah, sort of a weird comment right in front of all of us. Kind of thought this was a team effort. Yeah, yeah. Really, really glad I risked my life and everything. Yeah, it's... you're like five minutes from gone and you leave with that? Yeah. You know, that's like cutting a huge fart and then walking out of the room. And that's how we'll remember you. These as a big are... fart. These Goodbye, big fart. Don't be sensitive, man. I've screwed up worse than Disney did when they cast Michael J. Fox in that Zorro remake. Who was that masked man who saved us? I don't know, but he left his insignia. <laughs> oh, no. It could have been me. Yeah, don't watch Garden this State. This Tuesday on Lifetime, Valerie Bertinelli stars in a Lifetime original movie. You know, doctor, you said you were going to cure my cancer, but all you did was rape me. I'm starting to think I don't have cancer at all. Well, you're right about the rape part, but I'm sorry, you still do have cancer. <laughs> Valerie Bertinelli in Men Are Terrible and Will Hurt You Because This Is Lifetime. Motherfucker! What do you want your alias to be? What are you talking about? I'm not going to go... Pick a name for yourself! Willem Dafoe. No, not that one. I used to have a Willem Dafoe living under my bed. Hey, you asleep yet? Uh, no. Just checking. I never realized until now how much I've taken her for granted. I mean, she's my only daughter, and I feel like I've never treated her as well as I should have. Hey, Meg, you got something on your shirt. <laughs> Hi, Dad. <laughs> And I thought my parents was abusive. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to comment, like, and don't subscribe. It's your boy Blasphemous HD Twizzles.